Is your heart connected to God? Ton cœur est connecté à Dieu? Is your heart connected by faith? Ton cœur est connecté par la foi? Are you ready to worship God in spirit and in truth? Est-ce que tu es prêt pour adorer Dieu en esprit et en vérité? Faith is the only substance to connect to the synagogue city today. La foi est la seule substance d'être connecté à la cité des synagogues aujourd'hui. When you have faith this morning, quand tu as la foi ce matin, you can move mountains. Tu peux déplacer les montagnes. When you have faith, quand tu as la foi, you can grab. Tu peux recevoir all the blessings of God. Toutes les bénédictions de Dieu. That will be released. Qui sera relâché in today's service. Dans le programme d'aujourd'hui. Viewers all over the world. Chers téléspectateurs, we want to urge you. Nous voulons vous faire comprendre to stay connected. de rester connecté. Do not be distracted. Ne soyez pas dérangé. So that your life will turn around in today's service. Afin que ta vie soit transformée aujourd'hui. Let us read from the book of Psalm chapter 100 verses 4 and 5. Nous allons lire dans le livre de Psalm chapter 100 verset 4 à It's, 5. It says, Enter into his gates with thanksgiving, and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him. And bless his name. Verses 5. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endures to all generations. Psalm chapter 100, verse 4 à 5, il dit Entrez dans ses portes avec des louanges, dans ses parvis avec des cantiques. L'Éternel, bénissez-le et célébrons son nom, car l'Éternel est bon. Sa bonté dure à toujours. Et sa fidélité de génération en génération. Now with faith in our heart, wherever you are, stand up on your feet as we open today's service with prayers. Avec la foi dans nos cœurs, n'importe où vous êtes, tenez-vous debout pour la prière d'ouverture. Open your mouth and begin to appreciate the name of the Lord. Ouvre ta bouche et commencez à apprécier le nom de l'Éternel. Thank Him for another brand new Sunday for you to be restored. Dis-lui merci pour ce nouveau dimanche pour que toi tu sois restauré. Open your mouth and appreciate Him for the blessings you are going to receive in today's service. Ouvre ta bouche et commencez à le bénir pour les bénédictions qu'il a préparées pour toi aujourd'hui. Appreciate Him for keeping you alive. Apprécie son nom parce qu'il t'a donné la vie. Appreciate Him for keeping your loved ones and your family alive. Apprécie le parce qu'il a donné la vie à tes amoureux et à tes à ta famille. Open your mouth and begin to thank God for today's service. Open your mouth and begin to thank Him. Continue à dire merci à Dieu ce matin. Achète de grâce envers lui ce matin au nom de Jésus. Merci Seigneur. Thank you Jesus. Merci Papa. Oh merci Dieu de gloire. Une fois encore ce matin, merci pour ton amour. Merci pour ta grâce. Merci pour ta fidélité. Merci pour tout ce que tu fais pour nous. Et une fois encore, tu nous as encore donné une nouvelle journée. Nous t'adorons et nous te célébrons. Nous te magnifions ce matin. Manta Kalaba. Libranda Katalaba Mandelebe. Libranda Katalaba Mandalaba. Lekese Kata Mandelebe. Regge de Bre Imanta Kalaba. Lekahama Mandelebe. La Kasa Kata Mandelebe. Zibranda Katalaba. La kaswa katalaba, le branda katalaba. Open your mouth and thank God for the blessings He's going to release into this service. Continue à dire merci à Dieu pour les bénédictions qu'il a préparées pour toi aujourd'hui. Élève ta voix et bénis son nom pour tout cela. Imante kelebe, malakatalaba mandalaba. Zeke debre imanda katalaba mandelebe, la kasa katalaba mandelebe, rapasa katalaba. La kaswa katalaba. In Jesus name we have prayed. Nous prions au nom de Jésus. The Bible says men have sinned. La Bible dit beaucoup de personnes ont péché. Falling short of the glory of God. Et ce qui empêche la gloire de Dieu. Now we are going to say O son of David. Nous allons dire fils de David. Have mercy upon me. Fais-moi miséricorde. Any sin I have committed. Et tout péché que j'ai fait. Knowingly and unknowingly. Ou ignorément comme innocemment. Have mercy upon me. Fais-moi miséricorde. So that your grace. Pour que ta grâce. Can speak for me. Puisse parler pour moi. Into this service. Dans le programme de Jésus. Wherever you are, open your mouth and begin to pray. Et là où tu es, ouvre ta bouche et continue à demander la miséricorde de Dieu. Fils de David, fais-nous miséricorde ce matin. Oh, ta miséricorde ce matin. Ta miséricorde. Ta miséricorde. Et pitié de moi ce matin. Manta kalaba. L'imam de Ketenebe, les Kahaba Mandalaba, la Kassa Kataraba Mandelebe, les Ketebre Imam Takalaba, les Brosokoto Mandelebe, la Kassoa Katalaba, les Branda Katalaba Mandelebe, Imam Takata Mandelebe, les Brosokoto Robo, Bala Katalaba, les Branda Katalaba Mandelebe, la Kassa Katamandelebe, Zeketebre. Il manque que les bébés. 
Ili brusu kutu manda laba Lakasa kata mande nebi Zege debre imante nebi Lakaswa kata laba In Jesus name we have prayed Nous prions au nom de Jésus In Psalm 24 verses 8 and 9 Psalm 24 verses 8 and 9 The Bible says lift up your hands Il dit porte et levez vos lentos Oh ye gates Tout porte That the king of glory Car le roi de gloire Might come in who is this King of Glory? Qui est ce roi de gloire? The Lord strong and mighty. L'Éternel Dieu puissant et fort. Now we are going to ask for the very presence of God. Tu vas demander la présence de Dieu. To come into our midst. De venir au milieu de nous. The Bible says where two or three are gathered, the Lord is in their midst. La Bible dit là où se réunit un et trois, l'Éternel Dieu est déjà au milieu de nous. Viewers all over the world begin to ask for the Holy Spirit to come into your midst. Pour que Dieu commence à demander à la Seigneur de venir dans votre vie. To come into your home this morning. Dans votre maison ce matin. That your life may be transformed. Pour que ta vie soit Transformé. Open your mouth and begin to ask for the presence of God. Ouvre ta bouche et commence à demander la présence de Dieu dans ta vie. Prie le Seigneur. Oh éternel Dieu, ta présence est moi nous suffit. Ta présence, ta présence, fais-nous voir ta gloire ce matin. Oh Lord, il mange ta calabre, il est pressé que tu manges la base. Zéke te bré, il mange ta calabre. La casa catalaba mande le bé, la casua catalaba, mante que le bé, libre so coto y manda la ba, zeke de bre, rapasa catalaba mande le bé, la casua cato le bé, mare que te le bé, are qui si yara co catalaba, libranda catalaba mande le bé, libre so coto manda la ba, zeke de bre, y mante que le bé. In the name of Jesus. Au nom de Jésus. Now we're going to pray for the man of God. Tu vas prier pour l'homme de Dieu. That the Holy Spirit. Que le Saint Esprit. That the power of God. La puissance de Dieu. Should use him. Nous le sommes utilisés. Like never before. Comme pas auparavant. So that every word. Pour que toute parole. That we come out from his mouth this morning. Qui sortira de sa bouche ce matin. We bring healing. Apportera la guérison. We bring deliverance. Apporte la délivrance. We bring restoration. La restauration. To your life. Dans ta vie. And to your family. Et dans ta famille. Open your mouth and begin to pray for the man of God. Ouvre ta bouche et continue à prier dans le nom de Jésus. Proclame ces paroles. Il monte. Il m'a la cata là-bas. Il se guette de près. Mante que le bé, la casa kata la ba mande le bé, la casua kato la ko kata la ba, le bron la kata la ba mande le bé, le broso koto mande le bé, mante que le bé, le bron la kata la ba mande le bé, le broso koto man kata la ba, le bron la kata la ba. Mante que le bé, le branda et mante que élégé de bré, il est brosso coto mande le bé, bala kata la ba mande le bé, la kasa kata la ba mande la ba. In Jesus name. Nous prions au nom de Jésus. Lastly, we are going to pray. Tu vas prier. That the word of salvation that will be coming out from the man of God this morning. Que la parole du salut qui va sortir l'homme de Dieu aujourd'hui. That you will not only be the hearer. Que tu ne seras pas seulement les écoutants. But you will also be the doer of the word. Et tu seras aussi le pratiquant de la parole de Dieu. That you will not just hear the word of salvation. Tu vas jamais écouter la parole simplement. But it will bring healing. Mais ça va apporter la guérison. You will hear it and begin to make impact with the word of God. Tu vas l'écouter, commencer à le vivre dans ta vie. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Ouvre ta bouche et continue à prier le Seigneur. In the name of Jesus, every word that we come as a man of God, every word of salvation. Parole qui va sortir ce matin. Par ton serviteur ce matin, c'est le Seigneur. Aide-moi que cela fasse dans mon cœur. Mante que le bé, malakata, il mante que le bé, il est brosso coto, mante le bé, la casa kata raba mante le bé, le brosso coto mante le bé, la casua kato la coca talaba, le branda kata raba mante le bé, il est brosso coto raba, mante que le bé, le branda kata. In Jesus name. Au nom de Jésus, nous venons de prier. On t'a dit merci à Dieu parce qu'il t'a exaucé. Remercie-le parce qu'aujourd'hui sera un nouveau commencement. Balance tes mains et apprécie le Seigneur. Car aujourd'hui sera une vie de transformation pour toi. Amen. Amen.
Fashion to your taste, and you have dressed me in your righteousness alone. Oh, you look past my sleep. Oh, you look beyond me. Oh, you look beyond me. Oh, you look past my sleep. Oh, you look beyond me. Oh, you look beyond me.
has won my battle for me. Oh, God of vengeance has won my battle for me. I'm a real man, I'm a real man. He has won my battle for me. I'm a real man, I'm a real man. He has won my battle for me. God of vengeance.
worthy, Jesus, you are worthy. You are worthy to be glorified. You are worthy, Jesus, you are worthy. You are worthy to be glorified. You are worthy, Jesus, you are worthy. You are worthy to be glorified. You are worthy, Jesus, you are worthy. You are worthy to be glorified. Jesus, you are worthy. You are worthy to be glorified. You are worthy, Jesus. You are worthy. You are worthy to be glorified. You are worthy, Jesus. You are worthy. You are worthy to be glorified. You are worthy, Father. You are worthy.
Master Jesus. Christ in us, the hope of glory. Say after me. Today, I will receive from the God of my Father, my Father. My problem is over today. Do you believe that? Jam your hand together for Jesus Christ. Please listen to the following announcement. Écoutons les annonces du jour. Service in this commission starts 7 o'clock. Le culte du dimanche commence toujours à 7h du matin. Prayer line is on every Friday of the week. Et la ligne de prière Every Friday of last month. Et la ligne de prière est pour chaque vendredi de toutes les semaines. As you are coming for prayer line, en venant en ligne de prière, come with anyone that can assist you. Vous avez déjà qui vont vous assister. Come with your walking aid. Avec le rapport médical. And doctor's report. Et tout ce que le docteur vous a prescrit. Partnership meeting in this commission is very important. La réunion des partenaires dans cette uh, commission est vraiment très important. As you are coming to partnership meeting, en venant à la réunion des partenaires, don't forget to pas. come with your working aid. Tout ce que vous allez utiliser to assist. Your family. And yourself. Et pour vous -même. As you pass now of Apostle Prince, whatever you are looking for, avec le Prince, you will receive. Et recevez tout ce que vous voulez. As you receive, breakthrough and testimony will be your portion. La percée et la témoin sont vos portes, à vos portes témoignages. As you receive in this commission, quand vous recevez dans cette commission, to share your testimony. This is silent. Et mettez vos téléphones sur silencieux ou vibreur. The only official number for this commission is le seul numéro de cette commission est 234 0 0 
presence this morning. If you're happy, put your hands together for Jesus Christ. Christ in us. People of God, it is time to take our faith to the next level. Time to strengthen our faith by hearing words of testimonies of God's people. Words of faithfulness, declaring God's faithfulness in their life or what God of Apostle Prince has done in their life. And they have come to Synagogue City this morning to give God all the glory for his healing, for his deliverance, for his blessings, for his restoration in Jesus' name. 
viewers all over the world wave your hands and begin to give god glory give him thanks give him thanks for his protection over your life for his healing for his goodness for his breakthrough for his restoration amen viewers this morning believe in your heart that distance is not a barrier as you listen to words of testimony, you are the next to testify to God's goodness in Jesus' name. But before we listen to our first testifier, please let us quickly watch the screen of our television to see how they came to Synagogue City and how the God of Apostle Prince Kaiabore set them free. You want to serve God? Want to serve God? Catch him. Can you see any mark? Huh? Can you see any mark? Mark was transferred from his father. This mark on the face was transferred from his father. Who gave you the mark? The mark was not actually meant for him. Okay. But we came for him because he wanted to be a savior of the house. How did you give him the mark? The mark was transferred from his father. Okay, with this mark now, what are you doing to him? Ah, only thing he enjoys is a righteous woman he married. That is the only thing he's enjoying. Okay, what are you using this mark to do? This mark, follow him anywhere you go. What is the meaning of the mark? Hatred, backwardness stagnation death failure at the age of success spiritual blindness the mark was not meant for him we tried to kill him in 1993 okay when did you people give you this mark what what when the mark was given to him 1997 people give it the mark 1997 because we saw him that is going to liberate his kingdom entirely the people not giving the mark yes now that you people give him this mark what is what is happening to him he, 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 even he himself no he, he give us one at the other day he said if you have a pamphlet he puts it on the mother once two legs is inside the mother one will be tired and get out of it he simply telling knows that once we get tired we'll get out of him well, before we get tired, let's destroy his finance first. He earns salary, but no show. What kind of spirit are you? Who served you before in the family? Ah, uh, the person that served me, they now actually serve me direct. He served me to protect his children. Who is the person that served you? Ah, uh, Idoko, 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 huh? Idoko, Idoko, Idoko. 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 Ah. Idoko. Is the one that serve you. Is he the father or who? Grandfather. The grandfather. Grandfather. Then you started punishing the children. Punishing the children. Huh? Punishing the children. Okay. That I means... stopped them from not going to school. He is the only one that said I must go to school. I stop him. Listen to me. Everything that has a beginning must have an end. I know, but this huh? is not my time. Huh? I know, but this is not my time. This is not your time. Let me deal with this body. Your time has come. And you are going today. No. And hear this. No. The no. sin of the forefather can no longer affect him. See, see, see. He, he came with one picture. Check the picture. He, 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 his younger brother's wife, he always pray for that girl. He, be safe, be delivered. We enter into that girl to punish the whole family. Okay. To the gift, your, your time is up now. The name of Jesus. Fear the name of Jesus Christ. Fear the name of Jesus. Fear the name of Jesus Christ. Continue okay. the Fear the name of Jesus Christ. Be free in 
Jesus name Clamps the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah, remove that mark. Take it away. Take it away. Fail. Remove the mark. Take it away. Take the mark away. Take it away. You know, this mark everybody may look at it as a fashion but it's not a fashion even tattoo sometimes it's not a fashion there are demons behind it right now this mark must this mark must go fail take it away in Jesus mighty name thank you Lord you are free Looking at himself. Huh? Bishop, my I heard something here. Synagogue City, please tell us the name, where you came from, and share with us your wonderful testimony. Where is the something? Christ in oh, us. The hope of glory. My name is Tangot Idoko. I am from Kogi State. I'm a minister in a well-known denomination. I will not make mentions of the name because of security purpose. The issue to Synagogue City here are uh, financial breakthrough, foundational altar, and my spiritual growth. I discovered myself as a minister and the one whom God has said just as, you, just, uh, just as you have heard, I discovered myself earlier that he's interested on in using me. And uh, ever since I discovered myself, I've been passing through a lot in life. Notwithstanding, the Lord has been with me till I got married 2019 precisely. And after my marriage, I've been facing a lot a very spiritual battle. Even I will pray for people to be healed and be delivered. Knowing to me that I am the one that actually needs the real deliverance. My finance is actually caged just as you just have watched. I've been walking like an elephant. Even to eat like an ant is so difficult for me. I walk, I earn a good salary. But no show of. Instead of me to save, I keep on borrowing. I ran into a very huge of debt two years ago. And ever since then, I found it difficult to pay back the money. Earlier this year, while I was praying, and the Lord ministered to me that I should check very well my background. That if the foundation is destroyed, there is nothing a righteous man can do. I began to investigate spiritually. And it shows me about my forefather. He said I should make inquiry about him, the third one, my grandfather, and even my father. I know the ways of my father. Idoko is my, great, is my grandfather. And so on and so on. I made an inquiry concerning them. And I was told that they serve idol. And none of them has their own house before they die. In fact, what surprised me and what pains me the most, my father Apun was supposed to be the one to be the king of my community. But just because of this battle, from generation to generation, the throne was taken from him. And the throne was given to order. And ever since then, the family has not recovered the throne up to this moment. But that is not my problem. My problem is about me, about my spiritual life, my ministry, and most importantly, my finance. It is so tough that I could not even pay my house rent again. Very, very tough that I could not even pay my children fees again. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. Us, 
while I was growing up, I have to ask question. Because there was a certain day that my fathers brought all of us that said, Come, let me give you Mark. And I ran away. And ever since then, I've been not, I have not been happy with myself, with my family. And I asked my mother because she is the only person that can explain more to me. The meaning of the mark on my face. And she said the mark was given to me while I was a boy, a baby. That they were trying to look for solution concerning the serious sickness that I was going through. They took me to so many places and but there was no result so they have to take me to someone else and this mark was given to me this is the cause of the mark put your hands together for jesus christ sir did you also say that as a result of you having this mark on your face that this mark has caused you hatred and spiritual blindness what do you have to say about that i confirm it to be true because even my own brother my own biological brothers and sisters they hate me because I embrace Christ. The issues of hatred is not only my brother. Even those that promised to help me financially, they turn their back at me. Last two years, I have an uncle who is very wealthy, very rich. He promised to help me in giving me a better job in order for me to have means of starting my ministry. But along the line, Anytime I try to remind him of what he promised me, he will get angry with me. I confirm it to be true because hatred is everywhere. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. So, sir, for how long have you been battling with this uh, idol from your father's house that has caused you afflictions and stagnations? I've been battling this uh, case right from the day I got born again. That was 2014. I got born again in Lagos State. I discovered myself. I began to walk with God. The more I walk with Him, the more battle I face in life. So tell us how this situation has really affected you before you decided to come to Sinagog City for your deliverance. It has affected me so much that, like I said before, I could not even pay any bills. The only thing I enjoy in life is a righteous wife that the Lord has given to me. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. So when you came to prayer and learn with the man of God was ministering deliverance to you, what happened to you at that point in time? Only thing I could remember, I saw his hands coming towards me. That is all I can remember. So after your deliverance on that very day, how have you been faring? I feel so bright, feel so great feel so happy even last night while i was studying the scripture the lord who asked me to go through a particular uh, bible passage and i went there i studied and the holy spirit began to interpret the scripture to me before it has not been like this before put your hands together for jesus christ so now that God Almighty has delivered you from that spiritual problem, that idol that has been tormenting you, what advice do you have for viewers that are watching you right now? What I have to tell everyone that is watching us right now, serve God. Embrace Him. Love Him the more. No matter what you are facing, no matter the battle ahead of you, they can only try their best. Remember, as soon as the blood of Jesus touched the ground, he says something. It is finished. The battle is all, all, already won on the cross. Face your throne. Be focused in Christ. Serve him all the day. Don't be carried away by the things of the world or by the battles that is facing you. And I pray, as he has done it for me, one day, your own turn will come in Jesus' name. Amen. Put your hands together for Jesus. So we thank God Almighty for your deliverance, for setting you free from that uh, idol and that uh, covenant that you have with your forefathers. Now that Jesus has set you free, we urge you to always make the word of God a standard to your life and your deliverance is permanent in Jesus' name. Chers téléspectateurs du monde entier, nous 
Nous avons ce ministre de Dieu du Nigeria témoigne à la gloire de Dieu de cette commission pour sa délivrance. Il dit que tout a commencé depuis 2014, qu'il a reçu Jésus-Christ dans sa vie, et il a découvert qu'il a, il a l'appel de Dieu sur sa vie, et tout a commencé, la destruction, les attaques dans ses révélations, et sur sa vie financière, dans ses business, dans ses affaires, rien ne marche, il ne fait que traverser de, de régir, et la jalousie, et la haine, un peu partout. Il cherche la solution et ce qui ne marchait même pas. Jusqu'à ce qu'il arrive au pont, tout est devenu dû, il ne sait plus quoi faire. C'est ça qu'il a cherché la voie et immédiatement il s'est retrouvé ici à la cité des synagogues, à la ligne de prière de vendredi passé. Et vous pouvez le voir tout à l'heure sur vos clips, pendant que le démon manifestait en lui tout ce qu'il a dit. Elle dit que tout cela le traversait depuis 2014, il n'y a pas la solution. Mais après avoir reçu le toucher de Jésus-Christ par ce serviteur à Porto Prince le vendredi dernier, après sa manifestation, il dit que toutes ces choses sont parties et aujourd'hui, il peut comprendre bien sa vie spirituelle et sur tous les plans. Il dit que depuis ce vendredi à jour d'aujourd'hui, tout va bien et il est là ce matin pour dire merci à ce grand Dieu. Et il nous conseille d'être connecté à Dieu, quelles que soient nos difficultés, afin d'avoir une bénédiction et délivrance. Acclamez pour nous, Seigneur Jésus-Christ. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I am free in Jesus' name. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. Let us listen to another wonderful testimony from the Zoom. Madam, please tell us the name. But before you, before you share with us your testimony, please let us watch the screen of our television and see how she was delivered. There is a lady you found An animal came to your dream and have an affair with you. He slept with you. An animal. This is not just ordinary. Since that thing happened, there is this urge. You can't hold yourself. An animal. This is not a human being. An animal came to your dream to sleep with you, to have an affair with you. Come out. Come out. The Lord wants to deliver you. Hello, my father, my father. God bless you. That is the prophecy of uh, having an affair with an uh, animal. It's concerning me. In the dream. The animal was sneaking everywhere. Ah, God. Huh? I have an affair with animal in the dream. Okay. He was doing what? And now uh, my anus and uh, my private part is crashing me all the time. Since that thing happened in the dream? Yes, yes, Papa. Okay, stand up here. Stand up, stand up. Stand up. Okay. The rest people, stand up also. Those people, put them there. Oh yeah, stretch your hand. Stretch your hand. You spirit of darkness. You spirit of evil beasts that come to sleep with her in the dream. Out! Fire in, the, in your body. Fire in your body. Fire in your body. Fire in your body. Fire from your head down to the sole of your feet. Fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Fire on your head. Fire on your leg. Fire on your stomach. Every part of your body. Any poison that evil beast have put in your body. Fire in your body. Fire in your body. This is a terrible experience. And since then, her private part is crashing her. Her anus is crashing her because of that evil encounter in the dream. Fire! Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Who are you that came to sleep with her in the dream? Can you speak out in the name of Jesus? I come from this father's house. She cannot allow me to rest. 
with a prayer. Who are, are you? Who are, are you? Who are you? Who are you? What did you turn to? What kind of animal did you turn to? I know. Huh? <laughs> what kind of animal did you turn to to come and sleep with her? Dog. Huh? Dog. Dog. Huh? Dog. Okay. The demon said turn to dog to come and sleep with her. Since you sleep with her, what did you put in her body? Infection. Huh? Infection. What kind of infection? Skin disease. Okay, skin disease. Yeah. You put it in her body. Yes. How many times did you come to sleep with her in the dream? Just only that day. Okay. What did you want to gain? Why did you want to gain? What do you want to gain? I want to see her glory. She have a bright star. You want to see her glory. Who are you, you demon? Who are you? Who are you? I do. I do. Okay. I do. All right. I command you. Everything that has a beginning must have an end. Remove those things in her body, those infections. Remove it from her anus. Remove it from her body. Fire! 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 Name of Jesus. Fire! 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 The name of Jesus. Fire! The blood of Jesus Christ. The blood of Jesus Christ. Fire! 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 All over your body. Fire! On your stomach. Fire! On your head. Fire! On your chest. Fire! On your eyes. Fire! On your leg. Fire! On your back. Fire! 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 The name of Jesus. Fire! Fire! Every part of your body. Fire! Every part of your body. Fire! Carry your load. Fire! Thank you, Lord. I cast you out. Carry your load now. Arrows of her. In Jesus. Huh? No. Huh? No. No. I want to start suffering with the skin disease. You what? I want to see her suffering with the skin disease. Okay, you want to see her suffering with the skin disease? Yes. She pray a lot. She's disturbing me with her prayer. Oh yeah, remove it. Remove it now. Remove it from her private. Remove it. Be fast. Fire. 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 It's an embarrassment when he now go out, he starts crashing her body like that. Become embarrassment. But it's spiritual. She cannot help herself. Daughter can't do anything. Only Jesus can do something. Thank you, Father. I command you. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. I command the problem to go back to where it's coming from. In Jesus' name, you're back on the floor. Thank you, Lord. Be free. Be free. Be free. Be free. Thank you, Lord. Be delivered in the name of Jesus Christ. Peace in your body. Be calm in Jesus' name. Stand up. You are free. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you, Daddy. I can't hold myself since uh, yesterday. Thank you for yesterday. I can't hold myself. Either my animals will be scratching me, my, my problem is scratching me, my body is diseased. Tell us the name and where you connect it from. The hope of testimony go like this. Madam I do G. I'm connected from Jamie. Your testimony. My testimony goes like this. I have I have a dream. 
last uh, three weeks ago having an affair with um with Bill. So mm -hmm. I never knew it was animal. After some days, I experienced rashes in my body, scratching my hand. The more I I I, I scratch it, the more it, it got spreading. So my animals, my private part, all over my body was filled with rashes. So I was using uh, some uh, medication cream for for the rashes until Friday last week when Papa prophesied that there is a lady that has an affair with an animal in the dream. So I lift up my hand. The Papa prayed for me. Immediately Papa prayed for me. I said, okay, let me try it. The way he scratched me before when I was scratching it, that is there. The thing is is very sweet and the same time painful. So I have to just be scratching it. When I'm in the public, like I'm going out in the supermarket, and we have the urge to scratch it. But people are dead. I oh my god, it was so embarrassing. But I thank God Papa located me and he delivered me. As you can see, I was scratching my hand. The ones in my hand immediately, Papa prayed for me. Before they break, he disappeared. He disappeared. Now, my, my, it's only my hand. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. I am so very, very happy. I thank God, God has delivered me. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. So, Mother, when did you have this dream? Three weeks ago. And the man of God prophesied that it was a dog that came to sleep with you in the dream. Yes, yes. I never knew that it was a dog, but I, 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 I experienced that it is uh, a being that uh, sleep with me. But I, I know it's no, it was not a human being. But the Papa looked me and said that it's a, uh, it's a dog that sleep with me. I thank God. God has delivered me. I am healed. I'm no longer scratching my body. Everything disappeared. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. Mother, the man of God so made mention of an idol in the family. What do you have to say about that? Hmm. My family is... We, we came from... I, my family worship idol. My forefather, my father. My father was a native daughter. That is the battle we have been battling for years. Nothing good is... Notice working good, everything does. Oh my God, I can't, I can't say. Because God will, God will surely believe that God. So after your deliverance now, those sickness in your body, everything is out. Everything disappears. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. <laughs> so what God has done to you now, what advice do you have for viewers watching you? My advice for viewers is... Keep on trusting God, no matter the situation you have. Always praying, always pray day and night, especially midnight prayer. Always be prayerful. God will surely locate you and deliver you from your situation. So what do you have to say to those that are not yet a partner of Synagogue TV? Ha. Who is praying for you? Who is your spiritual father? Hey, God, 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 so. My advice to, to viewers who is watching us on Facebook, YouTube, be a partner. Partner does speak. He speaks for me. I experienced it. I'm a living testimony. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. Mother, we thank God Almighty for using the man of God, Apostle Prince Kyberi, to deliver you from that terrible sickness. We pray your healing remain permanent in Jesus' name. Peuple de Dieu, nous écoutons le témoignage de délivrance de cette dame depuis l'Allemagne. Elle dit que tout a commencé après avoir fait le cesse dans ses, dans ses rêves. Et puis, depuis plus que trois semaines, elle ne peut plus se maintenir, elle n'est plus, plus à l'aise dans son corps. Et elle a, elle, sent, elle a senti qu'il y a maladie de peau, infection, et à tout moment, elle a fait que cracher, cracher son corps, gratter son corps, son ennui, sa partie privée, et elle n'a plus la peur. Elle est allée à l'hôpital, mais il n'y a pas la solution. Et, et elle, a, elle a commencé à vécu ces choses pendant depuis que 
trois semaines et à la ligne de prière de ce vendredi, l'homme de Dieu, Apostle Prince Zika Reboré, comme elle est partenaire, a donné la l'occasion prophétiquement et puis elle s'est sortie. Après avoir euh, reçu la, pri la prière de l'homme de Dieu, vous pouvez le voir sur votre écoute tout à l'heure comment elle a été manifestée. Le démon a, a, a quitté son corps, les étoiles de, sa, de la main de son père qui se sont transformés en un chien pour venir dormir avec elle, faire amour avec elle, en partie, toute la maladie sont partie et puis la paix est revenue. Et aujourd'hui, elle est très contente pour dire merci à ce grand Dieu. Et elle nous conseille d'être des chrétiens de prière afin de vaincre nos combats à la gloire de l'éternel. Approchez-vous de l'éternel. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. Honest testify, we take you from the church and before you come forth for his testimony, let's watch the scream of our television to see how God has used the man of God, Apostle Prince, to set you free. Leave me! Leave me! Who are you? Leave me! Leave me! Who are you? Leave me! What have leave you me. done to him? Leave me! Leave me! Why ask? Leave me! What have you done to him? Can you speak? I have Jesus? destroyed him. Who are you? Who are you? I am the ancestors okay. of his father. How did you enter him? How did you enter him? His father refused. Huh? Refused to serve the ancestors. So I captured this one. Okay. Uh. The father refused to what? To serve the ancestors of his forefathers. Okay. Uh, who, so, uh, who brought you to the family? <laughs> who brought you to the family? The ancestors. The ancestors. Yes. The forefathers. Yes. Okay. Who are you? What kind of spirit are you? <laughs> huh? Foundational altars. Foundational altars. Yes. Okay. There are many. You are many. What are you doing to the family? I don't know, but this one I want to destroy him. I want what to destroy are you him. doing to the family entirely? Mm. Ah. Ah. Huh? I don't know. I don't know. Don't ask me. Ah. What have you done to this young man? I've destroyed him. Mm. You destroyed him. How did you destroy him? Ah. He has a great story. How are you operating in this family? Huh? I manipulated ladies. Huh? Ladies. Ah, some years back. Ah, Do what? Some years back. Yes. Ah, ah, I manipulated a lady ah. from the Marie Kingdom. Yes. Ah, from what? another state. From another state. To do what? To destroy him. To destroy him. <laughs> okay. After I met with the lady, what happened? Ever since that day, I locked his gift, his ministry, everything about him. Went down. Okay, what did the lady do to him? He first him to slap it. Ah, but the guy refused. But the guy refused. He refused. Ah, but she's ah, no, 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 no. What you want to know? Spirit, the doors. I first see. Uh huh. So the lady slept with him. Then after that, what happened? Is the lady your agent? Huh? From the water. From the water. Okay. And what else have you done to him? I just destroy him. Just destroy no him. No airpass. Okay. Ah. Ah. Okay. Ah. Ah. He has a great vision in ministry. Ah. He's a bad prophet. Ah. You see. Ah. Your time is up. Everything that has a beginning must have an end. I you com sure? command you. On your ear, in the name of Jesus Christ. Fear on your head. Fear on your eyes, on your stomach, on your chest, every part of your body. Fear in the name of Jesus Christ. Fear inside your eyes in the name of Jesus Christ. on your eyes. Come here. Come back here. In the name of Jesus Christ. Pray in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I command you out. In Jesus' mighty name, be free. Come on. 
hands. name of Jesus Christ. Hmm? Uh, tell him to be careful from ladies. Ah! In the name of Jesus Christ. Here I go. You're back on the floor. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Carry your property and leave him alone. Oh, In Jesus' mighty name, be free. Thank you, Lord. I a wonderful testimony. Christ in us. The hope of glory. The hope of glory. Christ in us. My name is Frank Christborn. I came from Arbitrary Edo State. The problem that brought me here is what I'm passing through about my spiritual life, especially foundational powers. Though I was into a ministry before, the ministry was growing. People started coming from different places. So a time came. A friend of mine shot me up on WhatsApp. He said, be careful from a lady. Three times. So... I took that prophecy as a fake prophecy then. Because I was not into a relationship. I was not even looking up to any lady to, as in, to go into a relationship with them. So, a month later, I went to the mountain to pray. So, the last day, as I was coming down from that mountain, God told me, be careful from a lady. So, I was not confused that period. Two months later, I went to visit my friend somewhere. So, when I get there, the door was open. So, where I stood, a lady just came from nowhere. I did ask her out. I did call her. She just came to meet me in that place. She said, man of God. So, when she said, man of God, my heart shifted because I did not tell her anything. I just surprised. When I enter my friend's room, I sat in, on the chair. The lady came. She sat on my leg. I pushed at her. What's all this? What's all this? Before I know, she pushed me on the bed. I was, so we were not dragging, dragging, dragging. I don't know how, I, how come. So I felt everything. And I slept with her. Immediately I slept with her. I saw a shadow that left my body instantly out of the room. So instantly, I don't know, instantly, I started crying. I didn't even go home again. Because if I go home, my dad will know and my mom will know. So they will question me. So I don't know how to tell them this kind of issue. So I now went to my friend's side for some weeks. So after, after that week, the girl now, and there's this sickness I took from her, this and gonorrhea. So as that goes on, I battled that sickness for some months before God now healed me. But immediately I slept with that lady. I can't even hear God again. Everything about my spiritual life went down. Hardship came. So that period, I started going to a club with my friend, doing a lot of things, many things like that. So that is it. But when I came here on, on Friday, I don't even know how I came here, but I know I came here. Immediately the man of God prayed for me when I left this place that night to my hotel room. Some of my gift unlocks. I said, see restoration instantly. Many things like that. I said, see changes. Put hands together for Jesus Christ. Put those hands together for Jesus Christ. So, do your manifestation, the demon says something about a foundational altar. Can you explain to us about this foundational altar? This foundational altar has tormented me for, me for so long. When I was into a ministry then, each time I'm in my room, this altar will come in form of python. It will appear inside my room and disappear instantly. So that altar has been tormenting me for so long. 
sometimes maybe after praying for some hours if if i slept off they will come in terms of in form of three demons they will climb my bed sometimes they will see they will come in form of a gorilla or monkeys they will hug me but today thank god for your restorations um i just thank god for the restoration because i don't know how to explain it put hands together for jesus christ Okay, sir. Can you tell us after the prayer for the man of God that on Friday immediately the man of God finished praying for you? Can you share with us your experience you had at that point in time? Immediately I get to my hotel room that night. Because throughout this day, I, I'm not sure I had any dream at all. So when I get to my hotel room that night, my dream land open, my visual life open, my spiritual eyes, many things, my love for God, hunger for God start growing. So I thank God for the restoration upon my life, for making me to be who I am again, to recover myself again for, for this situation. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, now, so after the, you are telling us now that after the prayer from the man of God that your dream life has re uh, revived, you are not seeing God in your dream. God is not speaking to you like before. Then I went again. To my hotel room so immediately let's see let me see i didn't sleep i just fought into vision and trance i saw our i saw our um, man of god apostle prince minister to me in the dreamland so that morning when i woke up i just called a friend of mine i didn't even tell him anything he said ah, your voice has changed what's up i said how my voice has changed ah. he said you've changed you i don't understand again but i don't tell them this is where i am but I'm sure that is the light of God speaking through me. Thank you, Jesus. Put those hands together for Jesus Christ. So we thank God for your deliverance. According to the words of our Father, he said, A life spent with Jesus is a life well spent. That's the best place to spend your life in the presence of God. Now that you are delivered, we urge you to make the word of God a standard to your life so that your deliverance will remain permanent in Jesus' name. Amen. And before you go, can you tell us the word of advice that you have for viewers for you? What I will tell you people is this. No matter the situation you are passing through in life, just focus all your thoughts on God. Because this life is vanity or vanity. There's nothing in this life. No matter the pains, the things you are passing through in your family, in marital life, in, in anything, just focus on Jesus. Because Jesus is the holy way, the truth and the life that can save you. Thank you, Jesus. May your deliverance remain permanent in Jesus' name. Amen. Téléspectateurs du monde entier, nous écoutons ce merveilleux témoignage de délivrance de ce ministre de Dieu, Daouchi, au Nigeria. Il dit qu'après avoir fait le cesse avec une fille chez lui, et depuis ce jour, sa vie n'a plus été de même. Il a commencé à expérimenter la frustration, la haine, la visitation démoniaque depuis chez lui, dans ses rêves comme dans le monde physique. Et ce qui a détruit son ministère, sa vie sur tous les plans, et il est devenu frustrant, ne sachant plus quoi faire. Et de solution en solution, ça continue toujours à aller de difficulté en difficulté. Jusqu'à ce qu'il était venu ici à la ligne de prière, à la cité de synagogue, le vendredi dernier. Et à la ligne de prière, c'est ça que vous venez de voir sur votre clip tout à l'heure, comment le démon a été manifesté avec de Dieu, après que l'homme de Dieu l'a touché. Et il dit que depuis ce jour, après avoir reçu la délivrance et le toucher de l'homme de Dieu à cause de Prince Caribou ce vendredi, il est rentré chez lui, ses visitations démoniaques ont parti, il a retrouvé sa, sa vie spirituelle et tout a bien commencé maintenant. Et aujourd'hui, il est prêt maintenant pour continuer à servir sa à Dieu pour gagner la bataille. Et il nous conseille, quelles que soient nos difficultés, problèmes, d'être focalisé sur Jésus-Christ pour notre délivrance, notre salut, à la gloire de son nom. Peuple de Dieu, apposons pour le Seigneur. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Mama, please tell us your name, the country you are connected from, and your testimony. Christ in us. The hope of glory. My name is Jenna McConne, and I'm connecting from the USA. So this is my testimony. Um, back in June the 16th, when the coordinator um, for the U.S. came, or before then, when she came back, um, she contacted everyone that we should meet and also she can disperse the uh the anointing the divine water 
So, but prior to that, um, for like two, three weeks, you know, I just, my body was so heavy and I, uh, it was hurting like someone beat me all over my body and I couldn't understand what was going on. You know, so I wanted to go to see the doctor to see what was going on, but I was like, I'm going to wait, and, you know, when Sister Rebecca come, comes back. So on the 16th, we met, and she gave us this anointing water. But before then, on Friday, I took, I fasted a whole day. So um, I brought it divine and I administer a prayer and I minister it all over my body and I slept that night. I got it the next morning, it's like I just felt light and my body was so free and I was like, oh my goodness, thank you Jesus, you know? Thank you Jesus, cause to go to work, it, it was hard, cause I do physical job, it's like, you go, you can't function in the way you're supposed to function. And from the time I administered this divine on my body, I just, from that day, I mean, I'm not feeling any pain, body pain, where it came from, it went back there. So I just want to glorify God for his goodness. Just believe, and it shall work for you. In the name of Jesus, I just want to tell God thank you. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. Amen. Madam, please, for how long have you had this body pain? Oh, that body pain is started like three weeks prior to um, Sister Rebecca coming back in May when she came. And then on on the 16th of June, we were able to meet. You know, I was going through that that whole time. But when I got it, I was so happy. I was like, because I had a job almost like an hour to wear. Uh, I was supposed to meet every everyone else because I live on the other side of town. I was like, I gotta go get this. I gotta go get this because I have so much faith that, you know, I went and got it and I administer it. Oh my goodness. And I just want to glorify God. I just want to tell God, thank you for restoring me, for healing me. Thank please you, please Jesus. Get up for Jesus Christ. Madam, please, what do you have to say about the divine water? Oh my God, you just believe. You just believe and go by the instruction. When there's an instruction for the man of God, you have to follow it. You have to go by the instruction. And the instruction that he gave, I went directly by the instruction and God had delivered me. And I just want to tell God, thank you. When a man of God declares something, it's not him. It's the Holy Spirit's God that's speaking through him. So I just want us to believe and have faith and know that without God, nothing is impossible. Put things together for Jesus Christ. So, Amen. Madam, what advice do you have for the viewers that are watching you, especially those that are sick? So for those that are sick, I just want you to believe, have faith, and know that there's a God. Have faith and believe. Once you believe it's God's time and in his due time, he, he will he just connect, connect to the grace and you will see the manifestation of God working into your life. In Jesus' name. Thank God for your testimony. Shall we pan my to Jesus' name? Amen. Peuple de Dieu, nous écoutons ces mauvais témoignages de la sœur Kramel depuis les USA. Et cette dame a dit que depuis le mois de juillet, de juin, le mois dernier, elle avait commencé à sentir la lourdeur au niveau de son corps et le douleur dans tout son corps. Et elle ne sait plus quoi faire. Elle a cherché un peu partout dans les hôpitaux, il n'y a pas la solution. Pendant qu'elle prenait les médicaments, c'est en ce moment que la maladie s'augmente. Comme elle est partenaire, l'homme de Dieu, Apostle Prince Ricard de Bourreau, l'homme rempli d'amour de Jésus-Christ, a envoyé l'eau d'onction la divine aux partenaires du monde entier. Elle a reçu pour elle, elle a dit justement, elle est partie prendre l'eau d'onction que vous venez de voir dans ses mains. C'est ça, elle a aspergé sur son corps et immédiatement, elle dit, après avoir utilisé l'eau d'onction, l'odeur dans son corps, le douleur au niveau de son corps, tout est parti et elle a senti la lumière dans son corps. Et la bonne santé est revenue. Elle est très contente ce matin pour dire merci à ce grand Dieu. Vous pouvez le voir sur votre écran et elle est, elle est, elle est contente ce matin pour partager tout ce témoin avec le peuple de Dieu. Et elle nous conseille d'être focalisé sur Dieu afin d'avoir tout ce que nous voulons de sa part. Approchons pour le Seigneur.
Christ in us. Please um my wonderful testimony. Hello, Christ in us. My name is Ovi Pospa Gaius, and I'm collecting from Germany. Your testimony, sir? Yeah, my testimony goes like this. Precisely yeah, since uh, 2019, I've been having a battle of documents, uh, which the German government gave me in red behind. So, before that 2019, I was having some green, you know, see myself being chased by the police. So, one morning, I just wake up, I pick my bag. I have to go to the next city because I was restricted in this city I am. So when I went to the other city, not more than two months, I heard police came to my house. So they wanted to come and bubble me and take me to Africa. So my friend called me and said, this is what happened. So I said, glory be to God. Okay, so I, I reside in uh, another uh, city, which was Doxmo. So I was calling back the the program which was the land just out. I don't know, those who live in Jan, they understand what I'm talking about. So I left in 2020, that I'm going to return back. So they asked me to return back. So when I return back, February is a little bit quiet. So I started a program with a the company. Then I now make an, uh, a program with the company to become a trainee. It does a kind of three years program. They are calling it hospital. So that will give me the stance to be here without no police problem. So I was still praying. I was praying along in the Zoom, Facebook, the God of Apostle, please, please help me. I've known this commission. I see so many miracles. People get delivered. People get documents. God, please, I know. You can help me. So not quite long. That's a big 13. I got my document. They Put my together document. for Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. So you said that since 2019, looking for your document. Yeah. Can you this tell us the I, I was having the, uh, the police problem, you know. They were chasing me all around. No peace, you know. When you have this red light in Germany, it's always difficult. You know, I have a couple of friends. They've deported them, you know. We used to stay together, but most of them, they are in Nigeria now. But glory be to God. The God of Apostle have done it for me. I'm so happy. I don't have much to say, but I'm just so happy. Put those hands together for Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Sir, can you tell us the things you could not do since 2019 as a result of you not having your documents? Well, it's a big problem. Everybody who lives in Germany knows what document means. You know, I, I said earlier that I was restricted to be just, I was living in a dorm. A dorm in Dutch, like me, a village, you know. I was restricted to not to leave that place. I don't have a job. Up to when I get this uh, company training as a uh, uh, construction company stuff. So that was where I had the liberty to move. It was really, really, really tough, you know. <laughs> it's not easy, but glory be to God. I thank the God of Apostle, please. I'm very happy. <laughs> Put those hands uh, together not... for Jesus Christ. If you are expecting your miracle this morning, if you are expecting your testimony this morning, put those hands together for the miracle working God. So please, because of the viewers that are watching, can you position the um, document properly? Hallelujah. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. So we rejoice with you for your wonderful testimony. May your testimony remain permanent in Jesus' name. And before you go, sir, can you tell us the word of advice that you have for viewers watching you, and most especially to those people out there who are still looking for their documents? Yeah. Uh, one thing is that you have to believe in God, and you have to stay. You have to wait. You know, if you're not patient in life, you cannot achieve anything in life. That's true. And you have to believe in a prophet that you are under his canopy. You must have to believe. Believe his word, accord to his word, and pray along with him. Nothing that is impossible for God to do. With God, all things are possible. Believe and be a pastor. That's just all. Glory be to God. So we rejoice with you for your wonderful testimony. We pray for more testimonies to you and your household in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you.
nous écoutons ces merveilleux moyens de ses partenaires depuis Allemagne. Il dit que depuis 2019, aussi, à l'étranger, il cherchait à avoir ses papiers pour pouvoir avoir la liberté, mais hein, ce qui ne marchait pas, ce qui a vraiment eh, lui donné des obstacles dans ce pays étranger, il ne peut pas travailler et rien faire sans les papiers. Et étant qu'il est partenaire, et après avoir reçu la prière de l'homme de Dieu, à Pose Prince, il est depuis la cité des synagogues, il dit après la prière de l'homme de Dieu, on l'a appelé. Et son papier est sorti, vous pouvez le voir dans ses mains. Et ce matin, il est très content pour témoigner à la gloire du nom d'Apôtre Icaléboré. Et il nous conseille, tous ceux qui cherchent quelque chose de la part de l'éternel Dieu, d'être focalisé et d'attendre son temps et d'être connecté à ce grand commission avec l'homme de Dieu, Apôtre Prince, pour nos bénédictions. Peuple de Dieu, Apôtre Prince, pour notre Seigneur Jésus-Christ. Put your hands together for Jesus. Madam, please tell us the name and where you're connected from. Praise the The hope of glory. My name is Lisa Yom. I'm connecting from Australia. Your testimony. Uh, my testimony goes like this. Uh, that was two weeks back. I had a tap on my foot, two foot. They just started like, like people, small people, in both two toes. And then I thought it's just a small things. But in one week time, they start opening big and it start growing like a wound. Even I was sleeping, when I went to work, I'm, I'm just like, someone has a problem with the broken leg or what, something big happened to my leg. But I just, I knew that that is attack. And already I chat with uh, our leader, Sophia, she said that she sent her I met him my tourists on the way. I said, no, I'm not going to the hospital. Let me wait. Until next next week on Thursday, I received my, my anointing material, anointing water. And then on Friday, I took the fasting and prayer. And then I read the instruction of what our father told us. I ministered that anointing water on my foot on uh, Saturday and Sunday until Monday this week. It's a dry out completely. No wound, no pain, no anything. Put so your hands together to for Jesus today. Christ. Amen. So, Mother, when you were having these pains on your leg, did you go to the hospital? No, I didn't go because I know, I knew that it's a split of things. Because I never experienced these things. I've been in Australia for almost 19 years, and I've been working, wearing boots. I never had experience like that, but I knew it's a attack just want to attack my, my job place. So I just waited for material, anointing, divine, and then I ministered. Now I'm here completely. No more pain, no more wound. Put your hands together, together for Jesus you. Christ. So, madam, when you were opportunity to have this anointing water divine, and you minister this water on your two legs, what happened to you when you were using this water? How do you feel? I feel deliverous. I was shaking really because I called the name of God, the Apostle Peter said, I want you to manifest through this anointing water, whatever demonic, the enemy planning on my foot or all over my body, I need these things to come out. And I started shaking. I was shaking and coughing. Even the flame was coming out from my mouth and my feet was shaking. Both of them were shaking. And I knew that my deliverance has come. And two days, three, this, the third day, indeed, I got my healing. It's all dry up. I thank Jesus for that. Put your hands Amen. together for Jesus Christ. So, Mother, you said uh, when you were opportunity to have this water, you ministered this water on your two legs. Immediately, you started shaking and you started coughing out some poison substance from your mouth. Then what happened after then? I feel released. I feel free, like happy, really. On that day, until today, I'm happy. Put your hands together for life. Jesus Christ. Amen. So when Thank you were having this pain, because according to you, you said that uh, when you were having this pain, you didn't visit the hospital. You were waiting for the new anointing material to get to you. So when you were having these pains on your leg, what were the things you were not able to do for yourself? I was really having experience in the place of work. I cannot do like I cannot do my work like before. I 
explained it to my supervisor, and then he just said to me, do it slowly, slowly, as you could. And this is exactly, in two weeks' time, I was working slowly. I couldn't do much as before. But I thank God now I'm free. It's all here. I can wear my boots. I can walk like before. i am become back like a horse now. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. So, Mother, now that you are, you are, you are opportunity to have this uh, new anointing water divine, what do you have to say about the uh, anointing water? This anointing water is powerful, children of God. I want you to believe and read the instruction. You need to follow the instruction the men of God told us to do. Because if you didn't go through the instruction, they cannot work for you. It's not him. It's the Holy Spirit. It's Jesus himself is the one speaking through him. So we need to be obedient always. As the word of God said that obedience is better than sacrifice. If you obey the word of God, it will work for you. Don't be familiar on this water. So what advice do you have for viewers watching you, especially those that are not yet a partner of Synagogue TV? What advice do you have for them? I'm encouraging anyone who's not a partner. It's good to become a partner because this is special grace in partnership. Who is speaking to us. is covering us. Even though the enemies are attacking us, but God of our personal priest always is covering us. It's good to be under this covering of this grace. Please, I encourage anyone outside there, you know the partner, partner from today. And God will locate you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Mother, we thank, thank God you, Almighty you. for your healing. The man of God, Apostle Prince, said that God is never tired of working miracles in our lives if our faith stands firm in him. Now that you have received your healing through the divine anointing water, it is permanent to your life in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Peuple de Dieu, vous qui êtes connecté à nous de par le monde entier, nous venons de partager ce merveilleux témoignage de cette dame depuis l'Australie. Et ce moment, elle dit que depuis fort longtemps, elle a commencé à sentir et au niveau de ses pieds et des signes de grattage. Elle ne fait que gratter son corps et puis ce qui la dérangeait et après qu'elle ne sache, ça a commencé à évoluer, à commencer à avoir des douleurs dans son corps. Elle n'était pas libre, elle n'était pas à l'aise, confortable dans sa vie, ce qui a fait qu'elle attendait l'eau d'onction la divine parce qu'elle est partenaire, elle a su que l'homme de Dieu enverra ça. Et quand l'homme de Dieu envoyait cette eau d'onction la divine que vous voyez dans sa main, elle a dit qu'elle a jeûné, elle a prié juste, elle a aspergé l'eau d'onction dans ses, dans ses, dans ses pieds, sur ses pieds, et immédiatement que l'eau d'onction a touché son corps, tous ses douleurs dans, son, dans ses pieds sont partis. Et elle a su que la délivrance a pris place, elle a commencé à vibrer, après avoir sa voix sentie, la bonne pensée a pris place, et elle peut faire tout à, comme d'habitude. Et, et ce matin, elle est très contente pour dire au grand Dieu d'Apopens qui a utilisé donc la divine pour la délivrer, pour la porter la bonne santé. Et elle nous conseille de focaliser sur notre Seigneur Jésus-Christ pour que nos besoins, nos espérances puissent venir à nous. Peuple de Dieu, une fois encore, applaudissons pour nous Seigneur Jésus-Christ. Praise the Lord. Christ nature in us. We are of God, not of this world. With the love of Christ in us, let's create a whole new world where the A fruit of love to nations. We are seen at God's seat. Arise, arise, seen at God's seat. Let love lead in all we do. We know grudges.
the Lord who was, who is and is to come. I call you Jesus. Your name is Jesus. Hey. And in you I put my trust. My life is in your hands. Oh, I call you Jesus. The miracle walking God. Yes, you are the God who was, who is, and is to come. I call you Jesus, Jesus. I call you Jesus, Jesus. Oh, when in you I trust my life.
gonna do this on my own. I want to hear you. Holy Spirit, say, say I cannot. Holy Spirit, take over me. I cannot heal myself by myself. I cannot do this. Holy Spirit, take over me. One more time. I cannot. Holy Spirit, take over.
eyes are never blind. He cannot see your tears. His ears are not deaf. Daddy can make you cry. Yet tomorrow must be greater than today. Yet tomorrow must be greater than today. No
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Put your hands together for Jesus. Amen. Christ in us. Christ in us. Greet the viewers all over the world. Say, Christ in us. The hope of glory. The hope of glory. Hallelujah. Put your hands together for Jesus. Wave your hands, wave your hands to Jesus. The atmosphere is already charged. Amen. Amen. Before I ask you to sit down, I want you to prepare your heart this morning. And open up and receive your own blessing. You know, anytime we gather in the presence of God, there is a blessing. When we fellowship together, there is a blessing. You will not go the way you came. I want you to know this. Don't just look at a Sunday. Oh, today is Sunday. Let us go to church. No. No. You know, in so many places, it has become a religion. And you know that Christianity is not what? It's not a religion. Christianity is not a religion. It's a life. It's a life of Christ. The life of God given to us through Jesus. And we must live that fullness of life. If we are living half of it, we have not done well. We have denied ourselves of so many blessings. 
remember what the bible says in the book of jeremiah chapter 29 verses 11 he said i know say it with me i know, I know. The, thoughts the thoughts i think, I think towards, you. towards you the thought of peace, the thought of peace. And, not of and not of evil to give you, to give you an expected end I, you know listen the it is a thought of good not of evil god is sitting on his throne what is he thinking about you you may have come here with your problem with your uh, uh trailer load of problem but your problem does not take god anything to remove i want you to settle your mind you must know why you are here i am here what am i going to receive from this service what is going to follow me home what is going to happen in my life today oh god reveal to me i will be preaching immediately i start a ministry to you suddenly you will have an insight a revelation of that thing you have been expecting god to show you or you have been expecting god to do it will happen as the world is coming out can i hear your amen, amen. i want you to get your heart prepared get your heart prepared don't just be oh today is sunday let us go to church the bible says remember the sabbath day and keep it holy no it's more than that it's more than that as you are here you are fellowshipping with god 33 people say as you are here now, as are here now you, are you are fellowshipping with god can i hear your amen? amen jam your hands together for jesus please you may be seated glory to god amen, amen. pick your bible pick your pen your writing material last friday i started sharing with you some things that we need to know concerning our bloodline and it's so important that we need to know this what you are ignorant of becomes your mountain i come again what you are what ignorant of becomes your what mountain you look at it as a mountain that cannot be moved because you are ignorant of that thing and ignorant is a license to bondage tell your neighbor ignorant is a license to bondage all over the world on the zoom tell somebody if you have somebody there tell somebody say ignorant is a license to bondage what you are ignorant of becomes your mountain what you are ignorant of and if someone else know that thing it does not look at it to become a mountain but you you look at it to look at it to become what a mountain because you are ignorant of it there is there are a lot of things happening to us that if you look back where you are coming from you will know that so many of them they are related to the powers of your father's house listen i learned how to deal with this thing early I did not just spring up to become like this. Paul said, when I was a child, I think as a child. I behave as a child. I talk as a child. But when I become a man, I put away what? Childish things. And so many times, devil uses our ignorance against us devil has no power he uses our ignorance he know that you don't know this thing then he capitalize on it and begin to deal with you what you know is no longer a mountain it becomes a testimony 
it becomes a blessing what you know then you can now share it with others and tell them how to come out of their problem listen what i'm going to share with you this morning and what i'm going to be sharing with you throughout this week starting from tomorrow monday every evening by 6 p.m in the evening wherever you are all over the world connect it will help you now so many of you you are asking questions why is my life like this i go up i come down i go up i come down you are around people that will change your life but they can't do anything it's not who you know first but did you know the powers in your father's house that control things one of the calling that god have called me is to deal with things spiritually I have that calling right from time and I know is to deal with things spiritually not to look at things physically but spiritually so many of us anger is our problem anger and that anger when you look at it did not just start from you it has distressed so many people in your family Anytime you are close to a very big thing, that is the time that anger will just rise. Because why? That thing has enslaved a lot of people in your family. And the same thing is fighting you. Why so many women is their problem? Women. If they are coming close to a very big thing, enemy will just send a woman to them. And the kind of women they send to them is not ordinary women. Women from the other world. From satanic kingdom. Just to break them down. And they go back to square one and start laboring again. When you look at it, you will discover it has affected somebody in your family before. Why in so many families there are sicknesses that have dominion over them? maybe the grandfather died of stroke the father died of stroke and now the young man is also feeling that syndrome of stroke already there is a particular disease taking people in the family devil is never tired in destroying life as far you are ignorant of that thing, he's never tired in destroying life today you will learn something that will liberate you can i hear your amen? amen now listen sin brings bondage tell me about sin. sin brings bondage sin brings men into bondage say it again again you know anything satan is capable of sin is capable of, because satan and sin work together they are twin brother they work together satan cannot do anything in your life without a sin and sin cannot also operate in your life without satan <laughs> this one come this one come they join hand together to operate together satan is the engine sin is the foil without the foil the car cannot move Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Is somebody getting something? Satan is the engine. Sin is the war, is the fall. That for the engine to operate. Listen to this. The Bible said in Lamentation chapter 5, verse 7. Lamentation chapter 5. I will 
can I have a good reader this morning that will be reading for me? On the Zoom, I will have one on the Zoom. Then I will have one inside the church here that we flip through the Bible and because I, I would like to show you so many scriptures, then at your own convenience and those scriptures, they are going to help you. Can I hear your amen? amen. Lamentation chapter 5 verse 7. Who is reading for us? Lamentation chapter 5 verses 7. Inside the church here, from the disciple there, who is ready for us? Lamentation 5, verse 7. Let us read together. One, two, go. Our father has seen and are not, and we have bore their iniquity. Can I hear your amen? amen. Now, our father have committed sin, and now they are no more. Now we have carried their what? Sin. That means what a father do can affect children. And today, what you are doing on your own will also affect your children, children. This one will lead out to our message today. Breaking parental family Causes. Breaking what? Again? And your own sin causes write it like that and your own sin what causes these are the two things we are going to deal with now breaking parental family causes and your own sin causes because there is a sin that your that is, there is a cause that your own sin also what brought can i hear your amen, amen. now let us take it because the word of god is final and he has showed us everything everything how to locate them and how to come out of it jesus has done everything for us on the cross but it's in our own interest to enforce to what to what enforce what jesus has done Jesus has done everything. But it's in our own interest now to enforce what he has done. Why? If there is a law in the nation that nobody should do this, commit this sin, or nobody should do this or that and this law has already been signed if anybody commit such a crime if there are no law what enforcement agents will it work eh? for example kidnapping, stealing or um, uh, let us say uh, one of uh, uh, the law in, uh, in your country that is so uh, uh, so strong that before you, you do that you will think twice I think one of them should be rapists. You rape somebody, you know, <laughs> you will starve some years in where? Eh? And maybe before you come out, you will have a, you will have beer, beer, 
white beard beard, you will be old. If you were 21 before, maybe you become 40 or 50 or 16 before you come. Out. And when you come at 60, what will you do again? There's, <laughs> is there anything you can do? <laughs> you are bad on project in life because your mates have left you. Can I hear your amen? amen. Now, if that law has been already been signed, if it is not enforced, everybody will just do what they like. Jesus has paid the price on the cross. Now, it's in our own interest to say, I am a child of God. I don't supposed to be living in bondage. Why am I living in fear? Why am I being enslaved by the strong man? Why am I working in courses of my father's house? No! I don't belong here. I know where I belong. This is not my destiny. In the name of Jesus, you devil, I challenge you. You forces, you dark powers, you curses from my father's house. I am not your slave. Then what did you do? You enforce it in the name of Jesus. Then you break out. You can break out only you will be succeeding in the family. Other people may not be succeeding. But they will be asking you, we are from the same family. Why are you moving forward? We are not moving forward. It's because you know what they don't know. What you don't know becomes your mountain. What you know is a testimony. Can I hear your amen? amen. Now, look at this. There are powers. As you are sitting down now, there are powers in the realm of the spirit that you cannot see with your eyes. But they are moving around. They monitor you as a monetary agent everywhere you go. A strong man can stand in an altar. He will open mirror. He will begin to watch you on the mirror. But you are in a brothel. He will be watching you. Monitoring your documents. Why did you why did you see that anytime I pray for people here, anytime you come here, you must see testimony. You must see testimony. People must testify. Why? There is something that I know. If not, you can be a minister of the gospel. You preach good Simon. If you don't know the secrets, hmm, all the members, they will be, they will be a slave. Even the pastor will also be a slave. They'll be chasing you in the dream. Let me tell you, the deliverance I do when I sleep is more than the one you see physically. I pray for people every night that I don't even know. And when I wake up, I'll say, God, what is this? He said, these are the people that I am bringing for you. I am only telling you you should prepare. More are coming. When you sleep, what did you see? Because so many of you, once you sleep, you found yourself in your village. You found yourself with dead people. You found yourself in the farm road where you people used to farm. You found yourself in that evil altar in your father's house. You found yourself in the primary school you left years ago. You are no longer in primary school. You still find yourself there. You find yourself wearing primary school uniform, hold this in it. You find yourself somebody is giving you coin all the days money that is no longer be used in this our day they are only telling you where you belong that you cannot break beyond where you are oh there is a good news for you yeah. there is a thought god has for you it's a thought of peace and not of evil listen whatever i tell you to do this morning do it if I say stand up because I'm preaching, we'll be praying. I am tired of you coming to church repeating the same story. I don't know. I don't know if last night was tough. I don't know throughout this week. 
there was no food at home there was no food at home. everybody just suffering even my elder brother now he say he's sick he say he's sick in abroad we don't know what is happening people are dying in the family why are people dying you just know i want to reveal to you the sin of your ancestor can hold you in captivity the sin you use your own hand to commit can hold you in captivity who is monitoring me when i am sleeping who is monitoring me when i am on the journey who is monitoring me when i'm about to receive good thing there are things that have happened to you somebody will promise you the day that you will fulfill that promise he said that something happened to that person or you will just have misunderstanding with that person you don't know it's what we call near success syndrome it has affected people in your family before because why there are spirit monitoring things in the realm of the spirit if a man can have cctv to monitor what happened in, a, in his environment eh? there are also demonic cctv that monitor where you go who promise you something even when you don't tell them immediately the job promise you it will just appear on their system they are about to change his life stop it stop it stop it they send one agent to stop it i pray for you you are breaking out in the name of jesus listen are you are you in a lamentation eh? now let us start from your own sin from your own world sin because if you cannot come out of your own, you cannot even fight your father's own. Because why? You must first of all be free. Somebody in the cell cannot be himself. Can somebody just wake up and say, DPO, I don't to stay here. I want to be myself. I want to come out. No, somebody must come to sign shorty for you and bail you out. Therefore, I am here through the blood of Jesus <laughs> to bail you out. <laughs> To bail you out and once i bail you out i will show you the way to enforce the authority oh put your hand together for jesus hallelujah now let us start from genesis genesis chapter 4 genesis chapter 4 verses 1 thank you jesus thank you jesus oh i feel the anointing all over me who is reading for us? Go on. And Adam knew Eve his wife. Adam knew Eve his wife. And she conceived and bare Cain. And she conceived and bare who? Cain. And bare who? And bare who? The day your father met your mother, they come together as one. And they give birth to who? You. As the first son why is it so many family first son does not always succeed i will also be dealing with it oh the younger one will be moving but the first son because first son is the gate oh thank you jesus you are not hearing me <laughs> be looking at me <laughs> you don't know first son is what eh? Eh? when arm robber come to the house where did they stop first Eh? they first of all attack the gates because if they can attack the gates they can enter inside first son always receive attack first daughter always receive attack go on and said I have gotten a man from the Lord I have gotten a man from the Lord and she again by his brother Abel she again bear his brother Abel. And Abel was a keeper of sheep. Uh -huh. And but Cain was a tiller of the ground. Mm -hmm. And in the process of life, mm -hmm. it came to pass. Who is the first son? A huh? Cain. Who is the second born? Go on. Go on. And in the process of time, it came to pass that Cain brought, brought of the fruit of the ground an offering unto the lord uh -huh. and Abel he also brought of the first firstling of his flock mm -hmm. and of the fat thereof mm -hmm. and the lord had respect unto Abel uh -huh. and to his offering yes 
But unto Cain and to his offering, he had not respect. Uh -huh. And Cain was very wrought, mm -hmm. and his countenance fair. And the Lord said unto Cain, Yes. Why art thou wrought? Mm -hmm. And why is thy countenance falling? Mm -hmm. If thou dost wear, mm -hmm. does thou not be accepted? Yes. And if thou dost not wear, sin light at the door. Mm -hmm. And unto and unto thee shall be his desire, mm -hmm. and thou shalt rule over him. And Cain talked with Abel, his brother. Verses 8. Go on. Verses 8. And it came to pass, when they were in the feet, that Cain rose up against Abel, his brother, and slew him. Verses 9. 9. And the Lord said unto Cain, Where is Abel, thy brother? And he said, I know not. Am I my brother's keeper? Mm -hmm. And he said, What hast thou done? Ten. Then, and he said, What hast thou done? The voice of their brother's blood cry unto me. Hear this the voice of your brother's blood is crying unto me. He uses his own hand to commit this sin now. Cause has come. Go on. 11. And now are thou cursed from the ex which had opened her mouth to receive thy brother's blood from thy hand. Thank you, Jesus. Look up, everybody. Thou art cause from where? The earth. God cause Cain and cause the earth. There are communities that are cause. Anybody that came from that community can never make progress. There are family that are cause. Everybody that came from that family can never make progress. There are individuals that are cause. There are land that are cause. If you put business in that land, that land becomes the business graveyard. There are lands that are cursed. If you put ministry in that land, God cannot break his words. Ministry can never even do well. There are lands that are cursed. If you build a house in that land, you will spend and if you give it to tenant, if a tenant came with two car, he will sell everything to pay debt. The day will be parking away from the house, he will use paper bag to leave the house. Everybody that enter that copper or that estate always encounter costs. There are land like that. And if you don't know, you just park into a house. Now, Things change. You sell your first car, you think it's normal. Oh, maybe it's the economy. Oh, things are not really working well. You sell your second car. Your children are going to hospital. The more your children go to hospital, your wife go to hospital, you go. You are spending money every both day and night. You don't know the reason. Maybe that land, the person who built the house, if he's a an occultic person. And he's using human blood to lay foundation. Or that land have disagreement. And in the process of that disagreement, somebody were key. It's already a bloodland. Remember when Jesus was betrayed by Judah his carrot and sold Jesus. The Bible says when he later realized that what he has done was bad, as they were beating Jesus, he saw it on the cross. He ran to the chief priest and dropped the money. He said, it's an innocent man. Do you know what they do? They did not collect the money back. It was a very huge money in their day. They paid the money. They used it to buy a piece of land. All till now in Israel, that land is called blood land nothing good come out from that land because why blood has been shared 
for that money. That is why all those people that practice occultic, once they die, their investment die, everything die. Because why? It's blood money. Listen. The blood of your brother crying unto who? Me. That means blood has a voice. Blood can speak. In thank you Jesus. In Leviticus chapter 17 verses 11. Leviticus chapter 17 verses 11. The Bible said the life of the flesh is in the blood. A man that must live need blood. Oh, thank you, Jesus. I might share something with you. A man that must live need what? Blood. Look at it. The Bible says, for the life of the flesh is in where? In the blood. When daughter say, this man has no blood. This woman has no blood. The life is at risk. Because why? the life of the flesh your body is in the blood when the man have no blood again life is finished because you are living by blood and this blood you are talking about <laughs> is a living blood that was why jesus was able to take our place on the cross because of the blood because the blood of jesus has no spots has no recall it was a blood that was sanctified pure from sin and it was able to give us life because why there is life in the blood now the blood of Abel cried to god from the ground that means a man killed the blood drop on the ground although the man is dead the blood will be crying and that blood can cry from generation to generation because there are so many of you that came from a community where they were using human being for sacrifice they were sometimes they were using virgin and some of your forefather was juju prince to all these evil authors and you came from that kind of family suddenly you discover you want to move forward something drag you back the blood is crying you say why is my life like this i am educated i know this job i have met people but i am not moving forward why am i not moving there is something you don't know dragging you backward that is why i say what you don't know become your mountain but what you know you can break out of it when you understand where you are coming from and the power that run in your father's house If your father have ever worshipped idol before, you are a slave. If your grandfather has ever worshipped idol before, you are a slave. It does not matter how long you speak in tongues until you know the power that are ruling your family and know how to deal with them. For the Bible says, even Paul says, for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty through God for the pulling down of every stronghold was of a new generation it was when jesus died and he resurrected that paul became an apostle called by jesus and paul said there is something that i see the weapons of our warfare are not carnal but they are mighty to god for the pulling down second corinthians 10 verse 1 oh thank you jesus oh thank you jesus oh thank you jesus oh thank you jesus second corinthians chapter 10 verse 1 Oh, thank you, Jesus. 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 Alande Burrahaskati La Mahaya.
my prayer today is that listen my prayer today is that you will be able to understand what i'm sharing with you because some of you, you can be looking and devil will also steal this wonderful message away from you because why he does not want you to enforce what you will hear today amen look at verse 3 oh thank you jesus verse 16 for though we walk in the flesh though we walk in the flesh we do not walk we do not walk after the flesh after the flesh for the weapons of our warfare for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal are not carnal but mighty through god but mighty through what through what through what through what through god to the pulling down of stronghold for the pulling down of stronghold stop stronghold let's when say stronghold what is the stronghold in your family you know we have different stronghold there's a stronghold of the mind that is why even your mind need to be renewed if your mind is always thinking evil negative thoughts you can never succeed in life there's a stronghold of the mind your mind is always thinking negative things you will not succeed you will not make it even though all that passed this exam you will not pass it you you are a failure that is how your father was a failure your mind is always thinking you may think that is just something ticking in you no it's a spirit from your background who is operating through your mind Say, I'm coming out. Okay, say, I'm coming out. Okay, shout it, I am coming out. Now, listen to this. Listen to this. The blood of Abel cried from where? From the ground. So who? When Cain were killing Abel, was anybody there? Was anybody there? It was a secret thing. But suddenly, the blood had started crying where you go into kidnapping you waste life you keep people and their blood drop on the ground you run away with your aka you think nobody know the blood of those people will continue to cry until you are caught that is why when you cross so many people have been doing harm, they will say we have been doing this thing for years but now we go on this mission we don't just know what happened the blood of people that you have been wasting is crying blood has power blood can cry now when you sleep with somebody that is under a curse you too you'll be under a curse because why there is an exchange of blood When you marry a woman that in their family they don't live long, pray because you can be used for collateral. <laughs> it's okay. In their family they don't live long. That is why before you marry, check. You know in those days when somebody wants to marry a young man, they will send some kinsmen to the people's village. They will not just go to the people's household. How many of you know what I'm talking about? They will ask questions from neighbor living around that place. This family, what is happening there? They will say, oh, this family, uh, the forefather, they don't die. They're not, they live long. And there is always mental disorder in uh, this family. They always run mad. They always run mad. Things always happen. Then they will, that is the, this thing you went to be doing today, uh, blood group and, uh, and a genotype. You are saying this one is SS. This one is AA. The genotype you are doing today, their old genotype then was what is happening in the family. Did they live long? Because why? If you are SS, you will not also live long. They, they use their, their information and eye gauge. <laughs> but now, we have advanced what? Technology that can check your genotype. But there is another thing that technology cannot check.
technology cannot tell you this family has a cross. Oh my God. You, you need <laughs> you need spiritual technology to tell you that this family there is a cross from the forefathers. Beauty is the setting. You can be so beautiful. You can be so handsome. But the altar in your father's house is ugly. Oh, you just see fine lady. You say, oh, see fine lady. Behind her, the background eh, is ugly. Because why? There is a spirit operating there. You only see the outward appearance. Every fine house, every fine gate, any house you get to, you see fine building, wonderful with fine gates. Behind that house, there is a toilet. Every beautiful house has a toilet. A lady can be beautiful, but there is ugly parts of it in the family bloodline that you don't know. A man can be handsome. There is ugly parts in the family that you don't know. You must dig it out and fight it too so that you can break out. If not, the spirit will break you. Oh, thank you, Jesus. The spirit will break you. The spirit will break you down. Let me tell you, I once have, I was once blessed, I was once a millionaire. It's not a good <laughs> It's not a good testimony. If it's a good testimony, raise up your hand. Let me see you now. I get before I get plenty cars. You see me before you go talk to me. They say, What happened? I say, Now let God know. It's not a good testimony. If you are blessed, remain blessed. If you are favor, remain favor. If you are great, remain great. I pray for somebody. Whatever altar in your father's house that does not permit greatness, that want to use less your mother's children, today you in particular you are breaking out of it. Sit down. This is another dimension of apostle. Here is another dimension. Sin is a reproach. That is why when we preach today, we ask people to remove hand from sin. What you call a Yahoo today? Huh? That young men are doing. It has graduated to become Yahoo. It's an occultic of the early 90s. You know, those people they had to go and use their wife, they had to use their children. They only upgraded it so that you will not know. They give it another day because when you tell somebody that you are narcotic, there is a way they run away from you. They only upgrade it. They call it Yahoo. Yahoo Plus. It's an narcotic. Somebody that took your underwear and somebody who took the underwear and he penetrate on your womb and take your womb. Or somebody who used the girlfriend. What did you call the person? It's an occultic person. They only upgrade their name. Because when devil knows that you know him for a particular thing, what did he do? He will, he will brand it and give it another name. Because the former name is no longer selling well. And you become ignorant of it. It's just a Yahoo now. It's not just a Yahoo. It's an occultic something. And any lady that is following a young guy who is taking people's pants, you are just engaged with an occultic person. And you know what occultic people do to their wife and their children. They use them for rituals. Very soon they will use you for rituals. And you'll be telling me that your stomach has disappeared. Pray for me, man of God. My stomach has disappeared. Listen. Every blood 
not shared in your family has a voice it will cry from generation to generation until you know the true blood the bible say that we speak the bible call it the blood of jesus that speak a better thing than that of who Amen. there is a more higher blood that can speak better thing into your life when you truly repented then you will break out of that human blood that your forefather shared there are people they want to they have a feast that they are doing in their village they will begin to look for virgin they kill virgin every year they still do it in africa did you remember family one family that i pray for in this place years ago eh? that people from um, they are from east people were dying in the family what happened they don't even know it was when they come here too prophetic it was revealed they they are great grandfather all of them they are dead people don't live long in the family the mother dead who she came to marry in the family the father dead now the father was in the mortuary the firstborn died almost two of the mass children died what happened when one died you know when death happened the other one become the first the other one went to markets to buy he was he was a trader as he was coming from the markets from the markets something happened an arm robber stopped them on the way asked everybody to come down from the bus shoot this young man on the head the arm robber did not take anything asked the rest to enter bus and go only this young man came listen you are saying hey what is looking for blood if you give it palm oil it won't take it's in your family until you wipe everybody away and now when they lost one of their brother again they were crying cry what is this what is happening because nobody know who is the next now you know that kind of thing now everybody is praying to even see daybreak then all of them they have to travel to their village east to go and do what we call family liberation family what and they travel to their village they enter car we are going they now carry a man of god you know there are men of god that go to people's house to do prayer then they were there they now pray in their village how pray after prayer they do all night all of them now enter car and start coming back as they were coming they have another accident on the road they hit somebody on the road a man that was just riding a bike on his soul they hit the man the man scattered and now the people there now was not chasing them you kill somebody you know that kind of you you people kill somebody to to kill them also because why as they go to the village to provoke the demon the demon say now i can't do all night for eh? you people don't you are you are too small to know what is happening in your family and i pity some men of god who just go to people's house to pray they don't even know what is for showing the people you are going there to pray and when you even go there to pray they will still bring food in that same house you will eat and you don't know the demon have even spoiled the food now now you come back oh you are telling your wife my soul might not know what they have oh. your wife they boil water they massage your body they rob you abolic <laughs> you have gone to inherit somebody's altar <laughs> inherited bondage Put your hands together for jesus <laughs> now look at it that is when one of them said this thing is not normal they started crying looking for a solution as they were crying somebody now introduced this church they say go to synagogue these spirits destroying your family they will deal with it there 
all of them came. It was a Sunday like this. After ministration towards the closing, I wanted to close. The Lord said to me, said, there is a family here crying. The brother is in the mortuary that just died a few days ago. The father is in the mortuary. And the father is even appearing to them that it's not his time that he's supposed to die. That something is wrong. That they should go and look for a solution. Their spirit did not rest in mortuary. And I gave that prophecy. Then one of the young men unknown to me was even sitting at the front. He stand up. He says, it's my family. We just lost our brother a few days ago. Nobody even know who is the nurse. All of them came out. They were family. They came to church. All of them came out. And I asked the Lord what is happening. The Lord opened my eye. I saw a veggie girl with blood all over her body crying. I'm inside the church, but my eyes was open. Crying. Say all of them must be wiped away. The way they kill me, so all of them will be wiped away. And in the realm of the spirit I begin to ask the virgin girl crying that the forefathers of this generation, the man was a warrior in their village. They were having clash with another village. He went to uh, a juju priest who told him that if you can offer a virgin as a warrior you will go to this battle and conquer the other community you will come back nothing will happen to you he went very early in the morning and started looking for a veggie in another village entirely he stayed by the riverside and there was this young girl that carried water pots to go to the river and is the only child of the parents he, he grabbed the young girl throw away the water pot close her mouth tie her and take her to that juju priest. Got it there. They check it was a virgin. The juju priest welcomed the man. They lie the girl down, dig a grave in the front of the shrine to bury the young girl alive. The young girl were crying, I'm the only child of my parents. Don't kill me. You know those people, they are heartless. And when Satan gave them hearts, a killer is heartless. Jesus never came to kill, to steal, and to destroy. John 10.10 10, It is the devil that came to steal, to kill, and to destroy. They bury her alive. Case closed. The man went to the battle. He conquered. Then as the lady were dying, he said, so people will be dying in this family from generation to years ago. When I was not giving the prophecy, one of them said, Yes, we had this story. That this is what happened. Our grandfather was a warrior, a very mighty man. We had this story. We never know this. What is the Lord said, This is what is destroyed. All of them they were shocked in tears. As I was laying hand on them, one of them manifested. Who are you? He said, I'm the spirit of a virgin. All of them must die. They went to village for family liberation. Though. Nobody knows this. It's not how, how many times you pray. An army man who went to a battlefield and began to shoot gun everywhere. It's not knowing where the enemy is hiding. You will always waste a bullet. If you know where the enemy is hiding, only one target, you will spare your bullets. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. That is how the family were delivered. The spirit of a virgin said, I will not go. Apostle, leave this family alone. Listen, no. I was not commanding. There are spirits you command. This was not Satan. This was blood crying. Blood is crying. It's different from Satan manifesting. Satan only, only use that sin you commit. He stay behind it and tell the blood you can go and cry for yourself because even Satan know what is the meaning of blood. I did not command. There are demons you command. There are sin you don't command. You plead the blood of Jesus. When we say pray now, every other time my father has, every other time my father has, cast fire, cast fire, cast fire, cast fire. Or anything that is happening to me, cast fire. Is it the thing you use your own hand to commit? If it's the thing you use your own hand to commit, the first thing to do is to ask God for mercy. You don't command. 
if you command there's something we command you in the dream you are suffering for what you have done that is why i say you must first of all deal with your own before you start dealing with your father your father's oh your father's house the demon your father's house you can command them but the sin you use your own hand to commit you cannot command now listen 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 they will deliver after deliverance all of them say i lead them to christ i say go back home everything is over they got home they buried their father buried their mother buried their brother one month all of them they were they were waiting and this is normally happen every year in a particular day in the month that day when that day come everybody is afraid because that is the day they kill that virgin and somebody when that blood cry from that shrine one soul must be taken because blood has a voice now look at this and they went home one year came they get to that day. The following day, all of them start calling each other. Hello, hello. Are you okay? This one says, okay. This one will call this one. They call the asset wherever they were living in different states. I'm okay. Nothing happened. That year passed. Second year. Third year. Fourth year. Fifth year. This is almost seven to eight years now. Nobody died in the family again. Do you know when I was praying? The virgin girl said, Apostle, I am not going. I am fighting for my rights. I said, because of the blood of Jesus. These children did not know what happened. It's the sin of their fathers. Stand up and take this prayer first. Say, in the name of Jesus. Oh God. Every sin. I have used my own hand. To commit that is affecting me have mercy on me now it can be abortion say have mercy on me let your mercy speak for me son of David bless me by your precious blood in the name of Jesus Ask for mercy, ask for mercy, ask for mercy. Open your mouth and ask for mercy, ask for mercy. Élève ta voix et demande la miséricorde de Dieu que Dieu fasse pitié de toi. Demande à ce que tout péché que tu as fait toi, toi-même, tu as causé, commis par toi-même, que Dieu te fasse miséricorde. Que le fils de David te fasse pitié ce matin. Élève ta voix et prie dans le message avec l'homme de Dieu. Jesus mighty name we pray can I hear your amen? amen now have your seat Genesis are you still here with me now Genesis chapter oh thank you Jesus forty nine verses one to four. And Jacob called unto his sons. Jacob called unto his sons. And said. And said. Gather yourself together. Gather yourself together. That I may tell you. That I may tell you. That which before you. That which before you. In the last days. In the last days. Say amen somebody. Go on. Gather yourself together. Uh huh. And hear ye sons of Jacob uh -huh. and hearken unto Israel your father. Listen, 
The father is talking now. Let's say the father. Okay. Who is your spiritual father? Spiritual father must gather his sons and daughter together and tell them what must happen in the last days. There are things that should not catch you unprepared. They just so many of you things just catch you unaware. I don't know. A man dress up and leave his house, not knowing that the journey that is going is not going to return. And so many times God saw all things in the dream, but the enemy closed our dream life not to even dream again. Some of the things you encounter, God have already shown it in your dream, but you are not aware. You went and fall into the trap. Go on. Three. Three. Reuben, thou art my firstborn. Reuben, thou art my firstborn. My might and the beginning of my strength. My might and the beginning of my what? Strength. The end. Now, every firstborn, hear this, so go on. The excellency of dignity. The excellency of dignity. And the excellency of power. The excellency of power. Unstable as water. As stable as water. Thou shalt not excel. Thou shalt not excel. The Father lay cross on him. Because thou wentest all to thy father's bed. Then defiest thou it. Uh -huh. He went up to my pub. Thank you, Jesus. Five. Someone I say four. When I say one to so, so read like that. You want to preach five? Did you prepare for five? <laughs> Amen. Now, who cursed Reuben? Who cursed Reuben? Who was the father? Huh? Jacob. What did he do? Huh? What did he do? Talk to me. Many of you don't even know what is happening here. You are just saying, ooh, 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 ooh. What did he do? What did Reuben do? He sleep with the father's wife. He sleep with who? Eh? Do you know there are young men that sleep with their mother? They call it Yahoo. You are under a curse. Your children, children. This generation, there is nothing they cannot do because of money. Reuben sleep with his what? His father's wife. The father know he kept quiet. When it was to inherit the blessing. The father said, although you are my strength, you are the beginning of my mind. Like every woman here, your first daughter, your first son is your strength. Is your mind. Because that is your first seed that came out of you. Although you are my strength, you are the beginning of my life. Or stable as water you shall be. You know, sea is not stable. It's always like this. You will not excel. Because you use your own hand to bring. We just read about Cain and Abel just now. Cain brought cause by killing his brother. Reuben brought cause by sleeping with his father's wife. You will not excel. Why are you not excelling in that business? There is something haunting you. Place your right hand on your head. Say, oh God, have mercy on me. Hallelujah. Now, turn with me to Genesis chapter 8 verses 20 to 22 Genesis 8 verses 20 to 22 
And Noah builded an altar. Noah builded what? An altar. An altar. Unto the Lord. Unto the Lord. And took of every clean beast. And took of every clean beast. And of every clean fowl. And of every clean fowl. And offer burnt offering on the altar. And altar offer what? Burnt offering. offering on where? On the altar. On where? On where? On the altar. Go on. And the Lord smells a sweet savour. The Lord smell a sweet savour. And the Lord said in his heart. The Lord said in his heart. I will not again call the ground anymore. I will not again cause the ground anymore. For man's sake. For man's sake. For the imagination of man's heart is evil. For the imagination of man's heart is evil. From his youth. From his youth. Neither will I again smite anymore. Neither will I again smite anymore. Everything living as I have done. Everything living as I have done. Why the earth remain it? Why the earth remain it? Seed time and harvest time. Seed time and harvest time. And cold and heat. And cold and heat. And summer and winter. And summer and winter. And day and night. And day and night. Shall not cease. Shall not cease. Everybody look up. Say amen. amen. Say amen. amen. Say amen. amen. Noah offer what is sacrifice unto God. And God smell is sweet smell. Have you ever seen somebody carry a dead goat and take it to a witch daughter for sacrifice? Eh? The altar will not accept because the blood is no longer living. That is why so many people, any animal that died by himself, they don't eat. Especially Muslim. When something wants to die, they quickly cut the neck so that the blood can drop on the ground. If that thing died by himself, they will not eat. They throw it away. No matter how big is that animal. Why? Because anything that died by himself, the blood has also died. A fresh animal you keep by yourself and the one that died by himself, there is a difference when you are eating it. That is why even native daughter, <laughs> they don't accept a dead goat. Because why? The shrine will not eat. He said, This is a dead goat. The gods will not accept it. Whatever you must give to God must be living. A living word, sacrifice. Let's not say a living sacrifice. Now, we are coming. God smell a sweet smell of savour. The way God received Noah's sacrifice, so. When people take evil things to a demonic altar, the demonic altar also accepts it. He smell it. Then he mark the person. What you ask that altar to begin to do for you, he begin to do it. Altar has power. Everybody look up. Say altar has power. As we are here now, where is everybody facing? Huh? Why are you facing altar? Huh? Because it's a place of worship. We know from the Bible that the prophets of old, all of them, they built an altar. Huh? Everybody, nobody is facing the back. When you come to pray, you come to the altar, you pray. Why altar? Because why? Altar is a spiritual dining table where spirit feed from angel they are in the altar god almighty is in the altar so in uh in the demonic satanic altars when they also go to their, go to their occulting temple they face altar and their occulting grandmaster will stand on that altar and begin to make some incarnation and begin to tell them what they should go and bring for sacrifice. That idol in your father's house is an altar. That or no good that your mother worship in the past is an altar. Whether it's just a small pot, they put water inside, put cowrings inside, it's an altar. 
there is no small altar there is no big altar all of them they are controlled by one master satan is their master and every altar of light is controlled by god jesus every altar of darkness is controlled by satan these two they are very important are you on satan's side or you are on god's side say amen are you getting me now now noah offer built an altar and offer a sacrifice unto god so your forefather also went to info altar they went to the river there are people who go to the river to look for a baby They'll go to the river, they'll go and throw sweet, throw goats, throw different tea. And before you know it's happening, the woman will become pregnant. Yes. You say we we'll become pregnant. Yes. Satan also gives children. But the children, they will give you tough time in life. You will suffer. And at the end, they will kill them. They will never do well in school. Those are the kind of children you'll be telling, sit down here. The, the child does not hear what. And now, they are moving the child from church to church looking for deliverance because why where that child came from was a bad source why is it where we are laying hand fire you hear the demon say the mother came to the river i gave this child to the mother and you are telling me to come out i have come to take over my property that is why when you give birth to your child where that child came from that is where you go to dedicate the child when people give birth when some women give birth they go back to that river they raise up the child to the goddess of that sea say i breed the child i've dedicated so 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 child to you immediately they will assign spiritual husband to the child and you a young man who did not know anything you are not spiritual you don't even know your left and your right you just say you see a fine girl on the road you go and approach then you will not marry you have married a mary witch as in then you carry and come when they say hey i don't marry if you see my wife fine woman you know as that woman say they look you it's looking at you like a dwarf it's looking at you small you know there are some women that beat their husband charles charles now me they talk to like that bah! We just slap him. Chas, 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 chas. Go to call his wife, auntie, 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 auntie. He will say, come here. He will do and carry cane. We wrap the cane. Say, auntie, auntie, you want to beat me again? Auntie, 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 auntie. Because the woman is like a giant. There are some women that are fighting. They are not fighting like women. They are fighting like a man. Once you will know that this one is not a woman, it's a man because why there is a spiritual husband inside her even when they are talking you can see authority in them because why it's not a woman you are the one looking at her as a woman in the other world it's a man i'm doing deliverance i know all these things on this feed eh? on on the feed of deliverance i am a daughter <laughs> i have phd <laughs> you can you can you can you can teach me an accounting banking and finance but when it comes to deliver and live there let me show you i am born to do this i have a phd on this <laughs> can i hear your amen <laughs> now look look up everybody i don't want this rate to disturb because i want you to hear me very well because this will help you since january this is july now 2023 this may be the first message that you are hearing since the beginning of the year that will change your life Amen. if you are focusing because i'm also talking now the spirit in your father's side they will also be changing your mind not to even put listening in here because they know that you are about to free and when you're free you become the success in the family that will help every other family listen everybody cannot just be poor in the family there should be somebody that will raise others why is life so hard with you like this 
that everything you have to enjoy in life, you have to strong struggle, struggle, struggle. Look at your father. That is how your father struggle. Look at your mother. Look at how your mother struggle in her marriage. Is struggle in her marriage. They never like her one day. In that family, she is strong, go and strong, go to give birth to you people. He is strong, go strong, go to even manage to send you people to school. He is strong, go the rest of her life. And now she just have few years to live and she cannot still enjoy. Up till now, you are still looking for a job, carry your certificate from one place to another. Who is doing you this? The, the woman is it's just a quarter to go. What will she enjoy after all her strong in life? And so many of you did not see anything bad about it. You are still living normal. He's supposed to be giving you worry. That all till now, you cannot take care of your child. You cannot take care of your mother, I mean. At 30. Eh? At 30 nobody should still stay under his father's roof and say i'm expecting an inheritance you have a problem work out take care of them enter your family everywhere we shake as i'm here now god can use me to change your life because why me god have changed my life will you just allow your mother to struggle like that and die and go to grave like that without her also enjoying you carrying your baby also traveling to abroad to go and do a mugwa the way other women do it will you just allow this woman after her suffering she carry you on her back nine months on her womb and carry you on her back for several months breastfeed you wake you up very early in the morning wash your clothes send you to school you go and pick you from school it will take care of you you people always go to farm she was strong go to break pan candy to pay your school fees and now you have graduated the demon in your father's house it was not the woman who came with the who came with this spiritual it was your your forefather because he just came to marry you people he inherits your problem do you know there are people who came to inherit other people's problem because they associate with them and the woman is suffering like nobody there is no two rapper in her wardrobe and she had children that are supposed to be successful but their star has been hijacked. I pray every spirit that has hijacked the star of your children today you are liberated. <laughs> Sit down. Everybody is living to be successful in life. To be successful in life. To live God giving destiny. Again, to live God giving destiny destiny there is a destiny god has given to you if you are not living it it's a waste that is why remove your hand from evil you are even you want to come out of your father's soul now you are using your own hand to come in listen young man you may be carrying some ticket up and down the day your friend tell you you are struggling i have one baba i will take you to and you discover his dark way don't go because you may break extra costs the one you are fighting your family, you have not come out of it. You are bringing other cause to yourself. Wait for God's time. A delay is not a denial. You are a mechanic, you're supposed to succeed with that mechanic. You are a tailor, you're supposed to succeed with that tailor. Whatever you are doing in life, you're supposed to succeed. It's your calling. But when otherwise, you struggle, you struggle, you struggle. 
from year to year nothing come out of what you are doing you must look into your background it may not be the place where you are working look into your background and look into your life deeply what am i doing that i don't supposed to be doing what am i doing that i don't suppose to be doing look into your life because you may be causing some problem to your life with your own hand and why there are problems in your family you cannot even solve your own you are talking about to solve the one that follow the family the one that follow the family is senior you is senior you yes when those demons we are doing deliverance here and the deliver the, uh, the demon begin to tell the the person we are delivering i senior him what does this one do he just come overnight he carry bible he says now a christian he speak to you baba 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 ba. if i catch you there have you, have you not seen many deliverance you're supposed to be spiritual because you are in this kind of church you think that young man manifested and shared testimony this morning that you you are free there is something inside you it's just because your own has not manifest you have not opened up and give god express to enter you are not free look at your life the way your life is going you will know that something is wrong with you you clap for everybody every sunday when they testify that young man you just hear his testimony he's free his own is over what about your own have you manifested one day even you have not manifested can't you see how your dream life is going your dream life is not normal you don't even dream reasonable dream you only find yourself in your village you only find yourself in the primary school you left years ago you only find yourself with your former girlfriend with your former boyfriend in that small room where you people used to live there are some of you you are dreaming you find yourself inside one small room you are looking for door to come and the room have no window you are moving around moving around you are in the prison spiritual prison Why is that sickness you are treating? It's not always going. If you look as if you want to go, it will reinforce again and come back. Why? Did the sickness start from you? Let us trace the roots. Every problem has a root. The fruit is what is manifesting in your life now. But there is a root somewhere. The root started from your forefather. Started from your great, 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 great grandmother. And they pass it to your mother. Your mother pass it to you. Why is it that money dry in your pocket before another one will come? It will dry. I can't will dry. Everywhere will dry before another one will come. Look at your father could not buy a bicycle. Bicycle was bigger than your father. Look at the house your father built in the village. And all till now, nobody could demolish it and build a very wonderful house. Everybody still go to that house. Even when the house is leaking, everybody stay inside. But when you get to heaven on the last day, God will open screen like this to see what you're supposed to become and what stop you. You begin to cry. I don't want you to get to heaven and start crying. I want you to manifest your God-given destiny while you are still alive. Put your hands together for Jesus. Say amen. I can't hear that amen. Genesis chapter 9, verse 18. Now, I'm gradually rolling it up. Follow where? Verse 18. And the son of Noah that went forth of the ark, the sons, let's not say the sons of Noah that went forth of the ark. Go on. Where Shem and Ham and Japheth and Ham is the fathers the father of canaan uh -huh. these are the three sons of noah uh -huh. verse what 19 now uh -huh. you only tell all the verses okay. these are the three sons of noah and of them was the whole earth overspread mm -hmm. 20. yes and noah began to be an husband and he planted a vineyard mm -hmm. 21 and he drank of the wine and was drunken. Now, Noah, you know how God told Noah to carve an ark and enter with his children. The, God destroyed the whole earth. Only Noah was remaining. 
and now they have to multiply again multiply and overspread all the whole earth and Noah have these sons and Noah began to become a father again to raise up his children the first thing he do he have to plant a vineyard he have to farm and from that farm a wine came out go on and he drank of the wine and was drunken and he was uncovered with his tent do you know there are some men in life all they use their money to do is drink it's not that they love drinking though. after they finish doing it they fall on the gutter when they wake up they'll be crying what am i doing noah he was a good man god loved him but on this occasion he drank the man of god drank he drank to the extent he was naked. He came home and started laughing. <laughs> naked. If we want to trace where that problem came from, it must have happened to the, somebody in the family. It's a disgrace. It's a stigma. Now, instead of the son that met the father naked inside the house, instead of the son to quickly cover the father, look, he start laughing, drunker. He go to preach every day. Preach to us. See our father don't make it. Although the man was drunk, but the grace of God upon his life was not drunk. That young man received cause. Who did God supposed to even be a guest. Is it not Noah? That is why don't judge any man of God you did not call. Leave them for God. Because you can also begin to be against a man of God. By being against him can bring cause into your life. I'm showing you things that can bring cause. Go on. 22. And Ham, the father of Canaan, saw the nakedness of his father and told his brethren who saw the nakedness of his father eh? go on 23 and Shem and Japhet took a garment and laid it upon both their shoulders and went backward and covered the nakedness of their father now can I have a just let me have a piece of cloth here a garment or any any gam, garment or hair tie uh -huh. bring it bring it bring it okay let me use that one garment oh yeah come come young man you come come hold it like this now one came listen everybody watch one came and enter the room and made the father drunk naked <laughs> ah, don't catch up he was looking at his father's nakedness. He went out and tell his brothers, <laughs> Prophet, don't drink if you see him. He naked, all he did still show. He was laughing, making mockery of the father. When the, the other one here, they say, ah, ah. They quickly ran, look for a garment. They say, where? Inside the room. As they were going, they hold the garment like this. Face here, face front face from use back to come the father is naked use back to come come we back because they don't want to see the nakedness they use back to enter and cover their father you must cover your father's shame by doing well how your father could not build the house you will go to that village and cover your father's shame your mother could not do anything Go there and cover your mother's shame. They say your mother will live in rent forever. Made up your mind, I will cover my mother's shame. Am I talking to somebody here? They cover their father. Read that place again. 23. Uh -huh. And Shem and Japheth took a garment. Shem and J 
Japheth took a garment and laid it upon both their shoulders on their shoulder uh -huh. and went backward they used back to enter and covered the nakedness and of their father the nakedness of their father and their faces were backward their faces were backward and they saw not their father's nakedness they did not see their father's nakedness because why they know what cause is all about don't insult a man of god no matter how small is the man of god don't insult them. Don't join people to insult a man of God. What he must have done may be wrong, but it's God that called them. It's God that has power to judge them, not you. You are too small to begin to judge a man of God. That's why when I see people just talking on social media, pa, 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 against men of God, I say, You don't know the cause. Even the cause of your father's heart, you have not even break it. You are bringing your own to yourself that you cannot break from generation to generation. Read on. 24. 24. And Noah awoke from his wine. Why Noah now wake up? And knew what his younger sons had done unto him. He knew what his younger sons had done unto him. And he said, He said, Cause be Cana. Cause be Cana. A comes. servant of a servant of servants. Shall be shall he be? Shall he be unto his brethren? Unto his brethren. Noah wake up. You mean when the man of God wake up and know it is still flow, immediately he wake up. Old thing has gone. He said, you that came to look at my nakedness, you were laughing. Although I was drunk, I know what I was doing. You are cursed. Go on. He said, you become a servant. You become a servant. I pray for you. Every curse working in your life, I came with a higher anointing. I break it in the name of Jesus. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. 26. 26. And he said, Blessed be the Lord God of Shem and Cana, uh -huh. uh -huh. shall be his servant. Uh -huh. God shall enlarge Japheth. God shall enlarge these ones that cover my shame. Go on. And he shall dwell in the tent of Shem. Uh -huh. And Cana shall be his servant. Uh -huh. 28. And Noah lived after the flood. 350 years mm -hmm. 29 uh -huh. and all the days of noah were 950 years and he died 900 who they who if they live 50 now when best they live 50 now you say they go better they could drive by boom 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 or that take out the carry coffee i'm out 20, 20, 20, 25 years 25 years you they go better you're supposed to be ashamed you're supposed to cry because before it was not so. 900! Not be a day job. Bro. If somebody read 100, not everybody go to celebrate. But before, 900, 1,000 something. Now see, now I reduce man, man. Sin, 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 sin. Somebody come to die. 20. 25, 30, obituary, obituary. But before 900, man, they live. No sickness, no cancer, all this sickness when they see so, you know, they dead. Your forefather, the, the get daughter, that they check BP. We know I check it BP. Sin, not too much. Sin. In those days, people, they are afraid to commit sin. That they fear. See, those young men, they were afraid. Today now, now naked things now you they watch for social media. Naked things. They watch naked things. You you they bring cost to yourself. Oh my god. Nine hundred and fifty years. A man. If that they live like that, it was sweet too. You you, 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 they enjoy the go. You, they enjoy the go. You know where you they go. You don't go even worry. 900. 950 years. From that 900, it now come down to 800, 700. When sin begin to graduate, sin begin to graduate, it begin to come down. 600, 500, 400. 300, 200, 100, 80, 90, 
20, 10, 5 years. Because has power. It calls them. Turn with me to Deuteronomy. 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 Deuteronomy chapter 27 verses 11. Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy. Are you there? Go on. Deuteronomy. And Moses charged the people. And Moses charge the people the same day saying the same day saying this shall stand upon mass garrison to bless the people when ye shall come when ye come over jordan simon and levi and judah and Issachar and joseph and benjamin mm -hmm. 13 and this shall stand upon mount abba to cause Reuben, Gad, Asher, Zebulun, Dan, and Naphtali. You remember who caused Reuben today? Is it not Jacob, the father? Noah also caused the children who did wrong. Go on. 14. 14. And the Levi shall speak and say unto all the men of Israel mm -hmm. with the, a loud voice. The Levi, the priest, shall speak with a loud voice to you. There are causes you cannot break by yourself. Now, I'm rounding up. But the message will be a series. There are causes you cannot break by yourself. It takes extraordinary grace to break it. And it's not all men of God that can break causes. Because we have a higher grace. We have a lower one. We have the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. When Jacob lay a cause... Because these three people, they are higher officer. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And Jacob lay a course. Who can break it? When Moses wanted to pray for Reuben, he made a prayer of appeal. When he wanted to bless, he was blessing different tribes. When he get to the tribe of Reuben, he said, oh God, let Reuben live and not die. Let not his men be few. He could not just stand to break the cause because it was a higher officer that caused him. The cause Joshua lay on Jericho, no prophet could break it. Elisha needed to receive double portion from Elijah to break the cause at Jericho. That is why so many of you, you move around, you are under a grace and still here, you are still under a cause. They could not break it because the man of God is trying, but he has no jurisdiction. To break that cause is operating on a lower grace. That is why you must choose your spiritual father well. If your spiritual father is a baby in the realm of the spirit, we have deep, deeper, deepest. Where is he operating? If he's in deep, he cannot break the cause of deepest. He can't. He will only try and leave it for the one who is in the deepest to erase it. Now, listen. There are people God have called. Hmm? Listen. There are people God have called. Once you just discuss their matter, Dima will say, no, no, don't mention that name here. Their name has been their name, God have even anoint some men of God's name that anywhere they mention their name solution also come. The name has been anointed. Sometimes you hear demons say here, in our kingdom we don't mention your name. They will always say that, that holy man, that holy man, that man when they preach for them, they can't mention your name. When you look at somebody like Prophet T.B. Joshua, you measure his name in any kid. Ah, problem don't start. Nobody. You always say that man, that man, that man from Ikotu, from Ikotu. 
Have you not heard demon manifest? They say that man, that man, that man from a care too, from the man with the, the man with this one. Because why? If they mess up the name, it will take them years to raise up that altar again. It will scatter. Therefore, there are people God have given grace. They have become. <laughs> They have become uh, what did I what did I say? They have become a nation. They have become what? When you look at a great man of God like uh, Pastor Christ, it has become a nation. That was why when COVID nineteen came, only he continue speaking only him even not in now continue speaking it has become a nation government can't do they, there are people who have become a nation government cannot even do anything to them again because why they have root god have so much enlarged them that they have become a nation trying to push them you are just wasting time it's a meat you cannot chew because why Jesus has put them in his palm. What can make a man to be like that? Obedient to God. Obedient is better than sacrifice. Go on. 15. 15. Cause be the man that maketh any graven or moting image. Cause be the man. An abomination unto the Lord. An abomination unto the Lord. The work of the hands. The work of the hand. Of the craftsman. Of the craftsman. And put at it in the secret place. And put at him in the secret place. And all the people shall answer and say, mm. Amen. Uh -huh. Go on. 16. Cause be he that sitteth light by his father or mother mm -hmm. or his mother mm -hmm. and all the people say amen mm -hmm. 17 cause be he that removed his neighbor's landmark mm -hmm. and all the people shall say amen mm -hmm. 18 cause be he that maketh the blind to wander out of the way mm -hmm. and all the people say, shall say amen mm -hmm. 19 cause be he that perverted the judgment of the stranger everybody look oh. There are different things that bring also. Those are the things. So mark them. Are you doing one of any of these things? Go on. Come Nineteen. again from come again from that cause. Go on. 19. Mm -hmm. Cause be he that perverted the judgment of the stranger, uh -huh. fatherless, and the widow. Those who are oppressing fatherless widow. Do you know there are some family widow, a man will die. They will push the woman away, push the children away. The man has money. They say, Now, our brother, money now you can't enjoy for him. Go! They will collect the land, collect everything. The woman will be suffering around. Cause be those kind of people. Some of you, your uncle have done it. Say, Who oh, no. Now even kill our brother. Now you kill our brother. And all the children that were eating on the dining table before, attending a very wonderful school that were brilliant, but today now they are in the village, breaking my candle. Because their father have died. And the man will begin to look in the realm of the spirit. All the things that I labor for my children, they are now suffering. And one man, uncle, will be enjoying those things, selling the property. While the man seed, they are suffering. It's a cause. Cause. Cause you are using your own hand to bring. Go on. 20. Cause be he that lied with his father's wife. Uh -huh. Because he uncovered. Please see, take that one small, small. Ruben. 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 The Ruben not sleep with his father's wife. Cause be he. It has already been written. Whoever that do this, cause will follow. And Ruben still went ahead, sleep with his father's wife. Your father, wife, they smile. Because your father married plenty of wife. If they smile, come they meet you like they run. Run. Because I grieve, now I want dick for you. So. There are some women that are out. 
There are some women that are graveyard. They are body in a graveyard. Wrong. Okay, did you not remember the, 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 the woman who lost the husband? He, he, one of the brothers now say he want to marry. That Jesus talked about. Have you not read about it? He said, since my brother did not have, this woman did not have a child for my brother, let me marry the woman so that I can raise all seed for my brother. He also died. The third one married the same woman. In the same family, died. The fourth one married the same woman, died. The fifth one married the same woman, died. The sixth one married the same woman, died. Or Mokekere, the last born. Maybe when he had that brother that he was still in primary school, still wake up overnight, say he want to marry mama. How will you marry somebody that almost five people have died? You still want to choke your head. The last born also approached mama, marry mama. The Bible says, last of all, the last born died. After the last born, all of them has been wiped away. The woman died. Why did the woman not die when the first born died? Graveyard. He came to fulfill an assignment in the family. And he succeed in fulfilling the assignment. And the question the Pharisees were asking, they say, these people, now we know the family, that that thing happened to. When they get to heaven, who will be the real husband of that woman? Jesus said, your failure. You don't know. You think there is marriage in heaven. Marriage ends on earth here. You are talking about when they read there, who will not be the real husband. Okay, you still want to go and marry there. Now you're ignorant, I kill you so. Ignorant is a mountain. It's a mountain. Ignorant, I kill you so. It's a mountain. You, 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 don't you know there are some, there are some family you marry, you not go live long? Because why? Look at all of them. All of them in the family. Any family you see, first daughter is at home, second daughter is at home, third daughter is at home, fourth daughter is at home, fifth daughter is at home, the seventh one is at home. Nobody is married. And you now say you see one fine girl, maybe it's the last daughter. You see her for road, you approach her and you reach her. So you say, Who be this? Say, my dad sister. Who be this? My, now the next one, I see you this one. You say they're not married. He said, That one, that my dad sister. He married 10 years ago. The husband just sick, died. Nobody really know what happened. He came back home. Since then, he's suffering with the three children. Could not marry him. The other one, he married after three years. The husband came from abroad on his way to have an accident and die. The third one, that one now, he married the day of the wedding that he's supposed to do wedding. He may they just do wedding finish that night. He sleep, he not wake up. The husband died, come back home. The other one. The other one, the husband just died a few months ago. We don't really know what happened. The matter is still on ground, so they never even said one. Then you see all of the lies, they analyze to you. You say, I love, they shock you. You want to stay, you still stay there. Wrong! You can't can tell me, you come and cancel you. They say people, they die for their family. Apostle, what will I do? What will I do? Man, I cancel you. Wait till tell you not cancel you. <laughs> 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 my father put your hands together for Jesus <laughs> yeah. okay, nah. I, I, I like I like I, 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 I love I love I love Joanne I love her my father my father can't we break the cause before we break the confess of all wrong you bring her to prayer like while we are breaking the cause you continue running if the cause now finally break you can come back that place a graveyard. There is a spirit taking people as a collateral. You want to become the next collateral? Collateral me, I give you this thing. I will begin to take this thing in return for an exchange. As I give you this thing, present this one as a collateral. If you cannot pay for what I give to you, this one has become a collateral. There are some family that are collateral. Collateral. So many of you, you are sitting down here now. The same thing happened in your family. What is even happening in your family, you cannot explain. Some of you, you are here. You hear of your great-grandfather was a great hunter. He used to go to bush and use hand to catch a lion, bring it home. What is he using to do? A charm. He can disappear and appear in the bush and begin to hunt. He uses different things to hunt. And he married plenty of women. They, they say he always disappear, he always do charm, he always kill elephant, kill this one. How was he doing it? You have never found out of your family background to know the kind of prayer point you will pray. You are only digging the surface. Digging the surface. Digging the surface. Dig 
deep, you will know where your family is coming from, what is pursuing them. Stand up and take this prayer. Stand up and say the prayer. So, Father, every cross in my father's house that will not allow me to go, as I clap my hand and pray, I break out. Clap your hands and pray. Is that how you are praying this prayer? Pray. Say, I break out. Say, I break out. Say, I break out. Every cause in my father's house. Clap your hand. Clap your hand. In my mother's house. Every lady, pray, 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 pray. In your mother's house. Anything that stop your mother cannot stop you. Anything that stop your father cannot stop you. Continuez à tout vos mains et demandez que tout magie la mère de votre père, de même votre maman, qui vous appelle d'aller de l'avant, soit éclaté au nom de Jésus. Tapez vos mains et priez le Seigneur. You are not praying, pray everywhere. Say, oh God, arrive every curse in my father's house that follow me. Today, I break out, I come out by fire. Clap your hand, lift your leg on the ground. Pray, God will hear you. Oh, yeah, pray, 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 pray. Tapez vos mains et tapez vos mains avec le pied au sol en demandant que Baracatosiata, votre père, la main de votre père, Mandeta Baracatosa, soit éclaté. Baracatosiata, tapez ta main et prie au nom de Jésus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Say men again. Say men again. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Say father. Today. Today. I erase. I erase. The soul you born man. Eh? That made a pencil. Also put eraser. Anything you write, case anything you write that is not correct, you what? Today, the altar of your fathers are chasing you in their dream, chasing your finances. It is erased by the blood of Jesus. The reason why God sent Jesus to us so that the cross can be erased because even God honor his word. When God said anyone that do this shall be cursed, he honor his word. The only solution is to pray in the name of Jesus. Read on. 20. 20. Cause be he that light with his father's wife. Cause be he that light with his father's wife. Because he uncovered his father's skirt. Because he uncovered his father's skirt. skirt. 21. Mm -hmm. Cause be he that light with any manner of beast. Do you know there are people that sleep with animals? Hey! This generation, they are not sleeping with animal today. They are sleeping with animal for money. They marry animal. He said, Cause the word of God cannot be broken. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is Satan. My message is always different. But if you listen, if you listen, you won't miss the kingdom. Go on. 22. 22. Cause be he that lieth with his sisters. Cause be he that lieth with the sister. There are people who sleep with their sister. There are fathers that sleep with their daughters. Oh, you are not hearing me. You are, not, you are looking at me as if you don't know this thing. Don't you know? There are people that sleep with their sister. As I'm talking right now, as I'm talking right now, there is a young man, you're on the Zoom. You're on the Zoom. As I'm talking right now, you're on the Zoom. You sleep with your sister years ago. And you are struggling in abroad. You don't know why you are struggling. This message, as I'm just preaching, I just saw you in the realm of the spirit. You know, even your sister know. You were just coming up then. You sleep with your own sister. It's affecting you today. You are struggling abroad. My God, we have mercy on you. Amen. My God, we have mercy on you. Amen. Listen, do you know when David, one of David's son, slept with his sister from another mother? Because David married many wives. The Bible said, God were angry. Incest, what we call incest, came in. 
Not be this generation to give. This generation don't change. Before, when we did grow for village, all of us we go back together as brothers and sisters. But now, things don't change. A lady, you now start dressing in the presence of your brother. When they even say, May carry you come to country do Yahoo. Even that they sleep with their mother. There was a young man, they said, who, who slept with the mother. Because they said, that is what we give him money. Follow the mother to farm. Eh? Follow the mother to farm. The mother said, ah, you just want to follow me, go farm today. It just, uh, those kind of young men that will put jeans here, they'll be walking like this, like who carry shit. You will carry cock, like say, mama, I want to follow you, go farm. Ah, ah. I am saying, my son, don't change. Follow the mother to the farm. Raise fine, raise your cock life. Say, lie down. The mother said, no, no, this is evil. He said, I will kill you. If I kill you, I will still sleep with you. The woman now allowed. He slept with the mother. This one happened in a do state here. You put you are aware of it now. Uh -huh. He slept with the mother. Came back home. He said, as they were coming back, he said, if you say pain to anybody, I will kill you. The woman said, uh, 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 I, the, the boy said, I will buy you lessons. The woman said, okay, you buy me lessons? No problem, I won't tell anybody. The woman will pant. Got him home now. If he call neighbor, if he call people, and he talk, the boy will say, kill her. He said, no. I won't tell anybody because it is me that will still sleep in my house. You will still come and meet me. What would they even do? The woman also prepare food. Poop poison at Opia Pia. Ugbofen. Prepare food. Say, since you want to kill me, why raise me? May I not use my hand to give birth to a child that will kill me? Now, prayer for you. You're not going to give birth to a child when he will kill you. For me to give birth to a child that will kill me, it is better I stay. Then the woman put the poison, prepared the food very well. He said, Oh, yeah, my son. I think you say you go buy me less. He said, Mommy, you are gonna change your life. Come and eat. The boy is not there, sleep with. When they were saying it, he said, Sleep with me. And if I tell you people, you will see kill me. I have to poison him and kill him. He said, Basson, I regret of giving birth to him. All kind of things are happening. Don't deny yourself of who you are. You are a child of God. You are washed by the blood of Jesus. That is why anytime you are coming to church, be happy that today is a Sunday. I want to go and hear the message again. Who don't want to come here is because the person don't want to hear. He's condemned. But you, you're not condemned. It's because you want to hear. Put your hands together for Jesus. Read up. Read that place again. 22. Cause be he that lieth with his sister, uh -huh. the daughter of his father, uh -huh. or the daughter of his mother. Uh -huh. 23. Cause be he that lieth with his mother, Elo. 24. His mother, Elo. Yes. Your mother-in-law. Do you know there are some young men, their mother-in-law came to visit them, they'll begin to sleep with the mother-in-law. Their daughter is not aware. Eh? <laughs> you are sleeping with mama. And your body raised. <laughs> eh? Waiting man who not feel do not they exist. That man would, when one put it for problem now, May that man who die. <laughs> I say that man who that want to put you problem. May that man who die. May not raise again. <laughs> it's okay. You will say, man. I say that man who that want to put you in problem. If the man who will make you to sin, to put you in problem, may the man who die. Say amen. amen. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> 24. Cause be he that smiteth his neighbor secretly. 
25. Cause be he that what? His neighbor secretly. Which is what? Huh? That cause, what? Cause be he that smited his neighbor secretly. That kill his neighbor secretly and bury. Do you know there are people that keep people secretly and bury? They bury the person. Nobody knows. Cause the glory of God is in this place. I can feel it. Thank you, Jesus. Go on. 25. Cause be he that taketh reward to slay an innocent person. Cause be he, Haya Sassi, kidnapper. You went to collect ransom, you still kill the man. Or somebody call you say, help me to assassinate that man. And you agree. You take it ransom. You take it reward. Then you kill an innocent person. Politicians should know this. It's not all that glitter that are gold. Somebody can be rich. Do you know what the person is going through? And you want to be like the person. Become what God wants you to become. Because some people tell, them, tell you they are problem. You will not like to be like them. Go on. 26. Uh -huh. Cause be he that confirmed not all the words of this Lord to do them. Anybody that even say we not do this word that I am preaching say cause us follow you. You can say that the ways of God is not our ways. Be careful. Go on. Uh -huh. That is the last one. Say amen. amen. Say amen. amen. Say amen. amen. Say amen. amen. Let me say this. Few things we are going to do now. We will not spend long time. We will round up now. Because I have a program throughout this way. Few things we are going to do. Your prayer count. One, first of all, you must ask for mercy and genuine repentance. Mercy, oh God, I repent genuinely from my sins. You must ask Jesus to forgive you. Secondly, you must use the blood of Jesus to clean yourself as if you are taking a bath thirdly you must pray throughout this week I will give you just a few prayer points that when you wake up in the night even though it's 20 minutes pray it every night throughout this week there are some prayer you will start praying at the middle of the night there are some power that, that have never won you before in the dream. They will come to your dream. They will say, who we'll ask you to be praying that prayer? Don't pray that prayer again because why? You are touching the root. Because you want to break out. And they will not just leave you easily. They must first of all contend with you. And at the end, they will discover that the blood of Jesus has come. They will let you go. What did I say? That was thirdly, prayer, Huh? Fox sacrifice. What did I say? Again. Now, place your hand on your head. Say the blood of Jesus. Oh God, I ask for your mercy. The sin that I have committed. The sin of my forefather. The sin of my mothers. They have committed and the one I use my own hand to commit that is haunting me. Oh God, today help me to come out of it in the name of Jesus. Amen. I apply the blood of Jesus upon my life from my head down to the sole of my feet. I apply the blood of Jesus upon the foundation of my father's house every evil foundation in my father's house that will not let me go 
I apply the blood of Jesus to flush out, to flush out every demonic inheritance from my system that I have taken, that I have been initiated with wrongly in the dream or when I was in my mother's womb or when I was born. When I did not know anything, anywhere I was being taken to, initiated wrongly into a wrong altar. Today, by the power in the blood of Jesus, I speak on this altar of synagogue where the Lord operates. I stand on this altar to challenge every altar in my father's house that I'm no longer your candidate, that I am breaking loose from you. My star is liberated. My finances, my words, my destiny, my blessings in life is coming out from your treasure. Today, I break out from that evil altar. I break out from that evil tree in my village where I always see myself. In my father's compound, anything planted in that compound that is not of God, today be raised. I plant the blood of Jesus and righteousness in my community, in my father's compound, by fire in the name of Jesus. And today I take authority by the power in the blood of Jesus to pursue, to pursue, to fight every power that fight my father. Today, I say no to that forces fighting people in my family. Forces of poverty, forces of bondage, familiar spirits, setback, delay, delay, barrenness, premature death in my family, sickness in my family, that haunts my mother, that haunts my father, that haunts my ancestor. I am not your candidate. Today, I revoke every covenant that has been entered on behalf, on behalf of my generation. I decree, I decree, I prophesy in the name of Jesus according to the time of life. I decree, I decree, that the angels of God will arise for my sake with the blood of Jesus and edit and do divine editing for my life, for my destiny. I break out by divine editing in my father's altar. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Place your two hands on your chest. Look here, everybody. Father, I'm coming. I'm coming. Father, these are your children. The sin they have committed by themselves. The one they know, the one they did not remember. That is making them to struggle. Here they have come. They know this is a place where you dwell. They have come for their freedom. You are the king of kings. You are the lord of lords. There is nothing too hard for you. Your plan for us is a plan of peace and not of evil. But today we have found ourselves in a wicked world where we continue to struggle for the sin we have committed or the one we did not commit. Father, in the name of Jesus, you said when we come in the name of Jesus, you will help us. Today, I stand in the name of Jesus to decree upon everyone sitting here or everyone at home on the Zoom, all my partners all over the world that have gone through a lot of battles in life. A lot of battles in life. A lot of battles in life. They leave one battle, another one come. They are out of serpent, a vampire come. They are out of vampire, a dragon will come. They are out of drago, another one will pour, pour another venom on them and drag them to that evil river, dark sea that stopped their ancestors, that stopped their father. 
they are here oh god they believe father today let there be manifestation those that have not manifested before before in their life whatever that i be holding them in the name of jesus throughout this week let them see your glory let them see your glory their mother may be in the village or some of them their parents have died they have no parents they are now struggling for their life oh god what stop their father what stop their mother what stopped them from marrying? What stopped their ancestor? What is battling them? Is now following this generation. Oh God, I decree. In the name of Jesus, by the time we start praying today, let the roots of their problem be located. Amen. By fire! Amen. Lord Jesus, every family there is a tree. Whether good tree or evil tree. And the good tree will bear good fruit. And the evil tree will bear evil fruit. Any tree that any strong man has planted in your family that is making you to bear bad fruit, today I command that tree to die! Die! Today, anything causing you pain, causing your tummy death, any sickness in your body, listen, wherever is coming from, oh God, He's coming from somewhere. He's coming from somewhere. He's coming from somewhere. Wherever he's coming from. Father, let not this your children return back as shame. Locate them at the point of their need. I break every seed that stopped that man for years. I break every seed that stopped that woman for years. I break that evil seed. Who planted it? Who planted it? Their forefather planted it. They buried that evil pot. They write the whole family name and they put it there. Today, today, today. Oh God, every family, you have multitude of angels. Every family listen to this message. Every family hearing the sound of my voice. Let one, one angel be sent into a, a family. Shanta Kapori Karuma Hasuri Gabarando Koshigara Makotoriara Rikoto Shigara Magado Bei Kato Segere Gede Baroda Barodo Zeketura Gabarato Seteli Kapayadi Ramozo Telibra Ingo Borodo Zete Kula Balandi Mosoto Barigo Barato Setura Gabayato Ligabahaya Rabado Zego Yes, yes, something is happening. Regete Baratu Zekira Bagodo Setura Bahaya Moseto Bari Gabada Boso Tabayata. What hold that woman? What is holding that woman? Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. We have found the secret. The secret destroying people in your family. The secret that destroy your mother's children. The secret that is making you to be sick all the time. We have discovered the secret. Enough is enough. Fire! Paroko to see Kapuru Kotusi Kaparatu Mantoki Paragada Bagadaba Zekedeba Jesus 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 This is your blood This is your blood This is your blood This is your blood You say your blood speak You say your blood speak You say your blood speak Every wrong foundation Every wrong foundation Every wrong foundation It's your family Blood of Jesus Batu Seku Pariga Bahaya Let there be manifestation now let there be manifestation they will not be able to stand it oh god arise oh god arise oh god arise oh god arise enter enter their dna enter their dna enter 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 bakoto sigaba barato sigaba moto sigaba is there any family where a witch operates? Is there any family where a witch daughter operates? Is there any family where I do see operate? And they are sitting down here. They are partners. They are hearing me all over the whole world. Oh God! Oh God! Alright! 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 What is causing that woman to miscarriage? What is causing you not to have your beautiful children? In the name of Jesus, we enter, 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 we enter that covenant. We enter! Paroto si braingo. What say you will not marry? What say you will not marry? Ekuku bado. Zigete bika to si naba. 
Parute, Parute, said to Pa, what say you will not marry that you will remain single, that you remain like this, that you remain like this, that men will be playing with you. A cuckoo plateau, Barata, what say you will not get your document? A coco to Sita, go Barato, see the Barra, Recuku Sabaya, Cotoba, Rekeba, Rakato, Kopaka, Togaya. Baratusa, Bidama, Koboto, Zekuta, Iku, Bato, Legoba, the secret, yes. Yes, it has been revealed. It has been revealed, say the law. It has been revealed. It has been revealed. That is it. That is a deep secret that you don't even know about your life, about your mother, about your mother's children. It has been revealed. That is it. That is it now. It has been revealed. Koboko si gaboro to zisa. Paratusia, 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 Bidema, Paratusia, Ota, 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 I address you, Ota, I address you, Ota, in their father's house, Kobo Katosi Kaporosia, Ota of death, Ota of barrenness, Ota of setback, Ota that fight your mother. That make your mother not to enjoy. And the same altar I want to repeat in your life. In the name of Jesus. That altar is not permitted. It's not permitted to succeed. I said the altar will not succeed. It's not permitted. It's not permitted. The altar will not succeed. Yes, yes. Look at the altar. Angel is before that altar. Angel is before that altar. It will not succeed. It will not succeed. Altar of poverty. Baradusia. That lady that have been suffering over there, you are suffering. Why are you suffering? You don't know. You don't know. You have prayed. You have done everything. You have sacrificed. You have done everything, but everything still remains stranded. Oh God! Oh God! Oh God! Parata sa da debaha kubuku siata. Appear, 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 appear. I stand on this altar. Altar versus altar. I stand on behalf of my people. Altar versus altar. I stand on behalf of my people. Altar versus altar. I stand on behalf of my people. Altar versus altar. All I need is a change of story. It's a change of story. It's a change of story. It's a change of story. Throughout this week. Throughout this week. Let somebody destiny change. Let somebody destiny change. All I need throughout this week. Oh God. That young man has suffered. That lady has suffered. What is causing this in this family? They don't even know. But we have revealed it today. By the spirit of the Lord. Because the spirit of the Lord said certain all things. The deep things of God. Every cause of in their family. Yes, 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 that is it. That is it, that is it. Something is happening. Something is happening. Something is happening. Something is happening. Blah! Look at Angel. Every home. Every village. Every community. Blah! Look at Angel Michael. Yes, Angel has been mobilized from heaven. So enter your community. Blah! Yes, that is it. 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 Yes, yes. Every seed which my heavenly father has not planted. The Bible says it shall be, it shall be condemned. God did not plant this evil seed in the life of this woman. In the life of this woman, you know everything. You, you know everything you should do that will make you to succeed. But they are making you look as if you are not laboring hard. In the name of Jesus, the altar doing it, the altar doing it, that I'll be crying blood in your family. That altar is silence, 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 silence. I command that if you altar to keep quiet, keep quiet, keep quiet. The blood of Jesus reign, the blood of Jesus reign in that family, in that family, in that family. Shall fire, vomit it, vomit it, vomit it, vomit it, vomit it. The serpent that has swallowed your inheritance, vomit it out. The serpent, breathe them out, vomit it out. The serpent. The spirit husband that came through your mother's lineage, the one that came through your father, whoever that touched your stomach when you were doing your wedding, they touch you, they touch you, they take what belongs to you. Today, I command weekly to enter that hand, enter that hand, enter that hand, enter. Let the hand be cut off. Let the hand be cut off. Let the hand be cut off. Whoever that sees your wedding garment in the realm of the spirit, in the name of Jesus, let that evil hand be cut off. Let your wedding garment be released. Sapphire! Yes, 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 yes. 
you can't understand yes yes this is another side of apostle in the name of jesus i enter your family any unresolved issue in your family all resolved issue in your family it came from your father your father took your name to win's daughter and submit your name there they took your name there is somebody here they took your name to win's daughter they submit your name there your name has been there now over over 15 years in the name of jesus I enter that shrine with my angel. I break the pot. 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 Bakiro Mohuzi Yahada. Everybody, listen. Something is happening. Listen. Hey, 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 hey. Look at this. Outside, I see battalions of angels. What you will do now? Take a sacrifice, run to the altar. Take a sacrifice, a good sacrifice. Run to the altar. Drop it on this altar. Take a good sacrifice. Run to the altar. Come and touch this platform. Touch this platform. Touch it. And touch any part in your body. Drop the sacrifice. Bar it to see other. All my people all over the world, I will come for your own. I will come for your own. I will come for your own. Something is happening in the spirit world. This is not just a man talking. This is God. This is called the nation. Bareke to Sierra Bahira. Boroko to Sierra Mahaye. Kedo Bara. Koputi Sata. Madekeba. As you touch the altar, go back and continue praying. 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 Bateke Baruzia. Bakete Baruzia. Badeke Baruzia, Bakete Baruzia, Bareke de Boya, Badose de Borea, Badeko Parada, that woman over there, that woman over there, manifest, manifest, vomit it out. Yes, that is a serpent, that is a dragon, or pretty in your family. Yes, it's a pretty, it's a pretty, it's breaking, it's breaking. Anywhere they submit your name, in the wind's daughter, in an evil altar, who submit your name? Is it your own father that submits your name? Every pot that is crying over your marriage, crying over your life, in the name of Jesus, shall break. I tell you, shall break. Shall break. By the time they go to renew the altar again, they will discover it has broken. Shall break. I can't hear you. Shall break. Say this battle must end. I can't hear you. Say this battle must end. Say this battle must end. Shall break. Barato Sika Babi on the Zoom. Break, break. Every masquerade, every masquerade that have killed your life. Break, break. The meat it out. A cuckoo barriga. Zegede, zegede. Break, break. Break, break, break. Break, break, break. Fire is burning. Fire is burning. Fire is burning. Take your own person. Take your own person. Take your own person. For your father's house. For your father's house. For your father's house. I see deliverance. I see millennia. I see uh, yeah, yeah. I see people setting free. Yes, sir. That will my break. I break it. I break it. I break it. Break. 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 For me to tell. Enough is enough. Break. 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 Something is happening. Higher, 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 higher. Everybody shout, Blood! Kabara Katesia. Say it again, say it again, say it again. Say it again, say it again. 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 As you say, break, you clap your hands. Say break. 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 Masha Kabara. Listen. Listen. Look at me. Anybody. Eh? That sit in an evil altar. Look at this. And fold his leg like this. Eh? Like this. And he fold his leg like this. Eh? Every night and day you are strongly. He's making a condition against you, watching you in the mirror. In the name of Jesus. May then die in that altar. And anyone that kneel down in an evil altar begin to lay curse on you. 
in your father's house. May they die in that altar. Anyone that lie down and he begin to curse you in an evil order, may they die there. And anyone that stand up and jump and he begin to make us on you, may they fall down there in the name of Jesus. Clap your hands, clap your hands and pray. Stand up and pray, stand up and pray. Clap your hands, pray, 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 pray. Élevez vos mains, tapez contre lui à prier avec l'homme de Dieu en demandant que toute personne qui s'était dans les hôtels sataniques pour vous maudit tombe mains au nom de Jésus. Tapez vos mains. Faut me ça. Invoquez le feu et détruisez les déracinez les brisez les dans le nom de Jésus. keeping God. Again, covenant keeping God. Covenant keeping God. Covenant keeping God. In the name of Jesus. You covenant keeping God. Arah! Arah! Fight my battle. Fight my battle. By fire! Clap your hands and pray. Clap your hands and pray. Tapez vos mains et demandez que le Dieu qui garde les alliances se, se lève et combatte pour vous ce, ce soir. Tape tes mains et crie vers Dieu ce, ce soir. Demande à Dieu qui garde les alliances, se lève sur son trône et combatte pour toi, pour ta maison, ta famille, tes enfants, ton ministère, tes affaires, dans le nom de Jésus. Tapez vos mains et priez le Seigneur. As the covenant keep you God to arise and fight down sea battle in your life in your family in the name Clap of your hands and pray. Clap 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 your hands and pray. You are not praying. Clap your hands and pray. Clap your hands and pray. In the name of Jesus. Place your two hands on your head. Do like this. I will tell you to do something. You will do like this. When I say do it, you will not do like you will jump. You will do it seven times round. Say covenant keeping God. Every covenant. Binding me. In my father's house. In my mother's family. That want to repeat in my life. The same thing that haunts my mother. That haunts my father. And you want to repeat this garment of shame i cannot wear you in the name of jesus as i jump and turn around covenant keeping god liberate me one uh -huh. two three four five six seven that's it, that's it, that's it, look at it. Look at the covenant keeping God. I break it, I break it, I break it, I break it, I break it. Break! 
That's it. That's it. That's it. We break it now. 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 We break it. 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 Break. 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 Yes. Break the life of that young man. Break the life of that new woman. Break now. Turn around the gate seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Come out. Come out. Come out from that dark room. Come out from that dark room. That stop your father. That stop your mother. And you still want to stop you. Come out now. Come out now. Come out now. Break! Yes. Yes. Yes, you shall not die. You shall not die in shame. You shall not die in poverty. You shall not die in shame. You shall not die in poverty. Just turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around. Second time, turn around. Third time, turn around. Fourth, turn around. Sixth, turn around. Turn around again. Turn around again. Turn around again. I see angel. I see angel cutting things in your family. They are cutting things. They are cutting things. Cut it now. Cut it now. Cut the rope. Cut the rope. Cut the rope. That hold that man. Cut the rope. That hold that boy. Cut the rope. Cut it. Cut it. Cut it. Cut it. They are cutting it. Yes, cut it now. Cut it. Cut it. Cut the rope. Cut the rope. Cut it. Cut the rope. Cut the rope. Cut the rope. Cut it. Cut it. Cut it. Cut the rope. Cut the rope. Cut the rope. Cut the rope. Put them out. Cut the rope. Fire! Cut it. Cut it. Cut it. Cut it. Cut it. Fire! Cut it. Cut it. Cut it. Cut the rope. Cut the rope. On that woman. On the zoo. Cut the rope. Cut the rope. We enter your village. Your mother's family. They kill your mother. They kill your mother, and today they are battling you. Nobody is setting the family. Cut the rope on that woman, on that woman on the zoo. Cut the rope, angel. Cut the rope. Cut the rope. Cut the rope. Go to their village. Cut the rope. Cut. 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 Shall fire. Fool. Shall fire. Fool. Shall fire. Lift up your two hands. Say inherited bondage. Shout it again. Inherited bondage. In my father's house. I will not inherit you. As I pray, what belongs to me shall be released. Inherited bondage. Lose me. Let me go. Clap your hands and pray. Clap your hands and pray. Lose me and let me go. Inherited bondage. Lose me. Lose me. Lose me. Continue à prier et demander que tout héritage de la santé de la de no, you cannot shout it. Let only the women shout it. Women, shout it, strong man of my father's heart. All the women, shout it again. Strong man of, in my mother's family. Is that how you can shout it? Shout it again. All the men, shout it. Everybody, shout it. Fight it, my love. I am not your candidate. Walking with idols. Today, receive fire. Go down by fire. Clap your hands and pray. Go down. 
Go down, 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 go battle is a final battle. Say, I'm coming out. Shout it again. I know the reason why your voice is no longer loud. Because they are also reinforcing. No, they will not allow you to pray. I know. I know. Shout it again. Say, I am coming out. Yes, Say, my voice shall be louder than that of my enemy. I will not give them space. To operate, anymore. to operate anymore. This miracle that God is sending to my way, I will not allow them to destroy it again. Shall fire! Hey. Clap your hands and pray. Clap your hands and pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. I will not allow them. I will not allow them to destroy it again. Never, 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 never. This good thing that is coming my way, I will not allow them to destroy it again. No way, no way, never, 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 never. Continue to tap your mains. Refuse that the demon will propose really to operate in your life. Block the road to tap your mains. Declare that today is the day. They will not have enough in your life to block you. The demon will bring destruction. They will probably block you. Tap your mains and pray and refuse in the name of Jesus. Now, what are you waiting for? Don't you know they always challenge you that you? Don't you know they always challenge you that you? Pray that prayer. That you, now, what are you waiting for? Don't give them space. They always challenge you that you. Challenge them. Challenge them in the house of your father. Challenge them in the house of God. In the house of God. Oh, you are challenging them now. Mettez-vous en habitude de prière et allez contre eux au nom de Jésus. Il ne peut vous détruire votre rêve, vos réalisations, vos visions, votre avenir. Jesus. Everybody stretch your hand to this altar. Say the power suppressing my greatness. I cannot hear you. What did you think you are doing? Die. Powers suppressing my greatness from the wicked altar. From Satan the devil. That say my star will not shine. That say I will beg to feed. You are a liar. Cast fire. Clap your hands and pray. Clap your hands and pray. I will not beg. I will not beg. You are not praying. I will not beg. I will not beg. Bakata kapa reta, le kapa kato paleta, ya kaka kapa, ya kapa te, le kapa kata pa, ya kapa rakata, ya kapa kata pa, rakapa kata pa. Ça peut vous demander que tout pouvoir de maison satanique démoniaque qui veut que vous demandez avant de manger, qui vous qui soit détruit au nom de Jésus. Tout ce qui oppresse votre vie. Name of Jesus. Say altar. Of synagogue, fight for me, oh God, operating on this altar in synagogue. Go to my village, to that my father altar, to my family in full altar. Fight for me by fire. Clap your hands and pray. Clap your hands and pray. Tapez vos mains et demandez que l'hôtel de la synagogue pour que je m'utilise et allez dans votre Fight famille pour combattre pour vous ce soir. Fight for me. Fight for me. Fight for me. Combat pour vous. Fight for me. 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 Holy Ghost fire! Holy Ghost fire! Holy Ghost fire! Holy Ghost 
fire. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Face somebody. Hold somebody's hand. Say the name of Jesus. The Bible say. Where two or three are gathered. In my name. God is there. We are more than two. We are more than three. In this place. I hereby decree. Join my faith with the people of God to decree that this problem in my life must go finally, 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 must expire. Whether I have somebody to hold his hand, whether I did not have somebody, I decree, I declare, I am in the house of God. Today, you problem that have been following me, expire! Oh yeah, pray, 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 pray. Demandez que tout le monde soit guéri sans faire ce soir dans des snakes. Tout problème dans votre vie, dans votre père, 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 Ya kapa kata pa kata pa kata pa ba kata pa kata pa zekete pa kata pa ziga pa kata pa ke zekete pa kata pa ba kata pa kata pa zekete pa kata pa zekete pa kata pa espaya 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 Livy why are you taking it So fire fill. Who are you? You want to carry somebody that carried demon? Eh? You don't you are no spiritual? Spirit of God bring somebody out for deliverance. You are taking the person away. I pity you. I minister. set you on fire. Every one of you, I cage him, I every cage one him. of you, they have caged in the very dark I and strong room. In the name of Jesus, I set you on fire. It's a great in the very dark and strong room, I set you on fire. I set you on fire. Shout freedom! freedom. Hey. Hey. I manipulated the woman, and the woman said to her, to him, that your banjo, the worry. Shout freedom! You will not suffer what your father suffer. Yeah. You will not suffer what your mother suffer. Yeah. Shut up! Yeah. Anywhere you are on the zoo, I locate you with this fire. My body. My body. Fire! My body. My body. My body. Fire! My body. My body. Fire! Everybody body. lift up your hand. My body. Fire! My body. A woman fire! A woman did a bunch of fire! fire. 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 Fire.
Every altar that is stronger than you is not stronger than my God. As you say, man, you are out of that evil altar. That woman of the zoo. Every altar stronger than you is not stronger than my God. It's not stronger than my God. Unmute your audio. That woman there. Unmute. You serpent. Unmute your audio. That woman there. That is a snake from the mother's side. Unmute your audio. In the name of Jesus, I command you to unmute now. I command. Who are you? What have you done to her? What have you done to her? Huh? How are you operating in her life? Everybody say anything operating in my life. Heaven will no longer give you permission. Be aborted by fire. So fire! Yes. 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 He shall not stand. He shall not stand. Since the day you were born, you have been suffering. The suffering has expired. Everything have an expiry date. The suffering your father's house has expired. Yeah. Where they tie you, I say they just expire. Yeah. Where they cage you, I say they just expire. Yeah. Those of you on Facebook, those of you on Zoom, those of you on YouTube, I say where they just cage you, they just expire now. Yeah. I can't hear that. Thing. I say they just expire now. Yeah. Shut fire! Yeah. Right now, bring him here. Right now, I remove you from that strong altar. Who bring you to the family? Huh? It's from the mother. From the mother. From the mother. Okay. I manipulated the woman. Okay. <laughs> to do what? He, he told him that uh, Obanje the warrior. Okay. He did Obanje the time he was doing business in Lagos. Okay. And I shut the business down. You shut the business down. And since he see your Facebook, yes. he decided to bring the bottle that the woman did Obanje and bring it here. He took a risk, even though I try all my best to stop him, but he refuses. Where did he put the bottle now? The bottle is inside the church. He came with it. He, he refused not to, to, to keep it. He, he said that he must come with the bottle since TB Joshua appeared in his dream and said, I will help him. I, I wanted him not to come. I said, set fire here. Right now? Mm. Who are you working for, you demon? Mm. Who are you working for? I am the queen. I am the queen. The queen from from where? Itodo. Huh? Itodo. Itodo. Itodo from where? Itodo River. Itodo, Itodo, Itodo River. Okay. He's the first son. He's the first He's son. He's the first son. Okay. He's a minister of gospel. Okay. He can pray. Okay. But I cage everything. Okay. Oh, up today, down tomorrow. The message that I will preach, you see, why is the message doing to him? Uh, uh, the message carry fire. Okay. The message carry fire. Ever since he came in, he has been feeling uncomfortable. Okay. Uh, he has been feeling uncomfortable. Okay. I have deceived him to give to go out, but he refused. Okay, when I was preaching, uh, yes, yes, he deceived yes. Him to go out. Yes, yes, yes. why? Uh, because there is a sense fire, but he refused that no matter what, he must break out. I convinced him, but he couldn't. He couldn't. Now, now, your tenor has expired. You will carry the load. It is the mother that enter covenant with you. Please, huh? please, huh? please, please. There is please, no, there please, is no, please, there is no please on this one. Uh, uh, we are here for a mission. One of his son has died. Uh, I manipulated uh, somebody. He borrowed money because he has been, he has been ruling. One of his son died. Yes, he said. What see him? Uh, I manipulated someone, he borrowed money. And the man, he's an occultic man. He was not away. And uh, he used the, the two children uh, for collateral. And the money is nowhere to find. You the see what I've been saying, see? When the man of God is preaching, listen. You don't want to listen. The, he used his children to go and borrow money. And they killed his son. Come here. Huh? 
Okay, one of his son died. Huh? He's doing ministry and he's selling phone accessory. And uh, the, the ministry was going where he was. Listen to me. You say one of the sons died. Yes. How did you kill yes. him? The man he borrowed money yeah. is an occultic man. He don't know. Okay. And uh, they have a deal. They have a deal. And the money is nowhere to be found because thief stole all his goods. On the second day, he went for business. He now used his son. Uh, he now used the two sons because the man has been arresting him. He has been sleeping in police station. What so, now happened to the son and the two sons? He used the son for money. The man used the son for, for money. money. The man he borrowed the money. And what happened to the son? The son died. The son and, died. The, and the second one they give him, they give him expiring date today. Today, that's the second one. When will that one die? He said he will die today. Immediately. Okay, supposed to die today. Yes, by twelve midnight. If he didn't see the money, he will die. He will die. He will die. The man, the man, the name is Sapphire. Okay, supposed to die today. By 12 midnight, By being 12. Sunday, being Sunday, the man told him that if he didn't bring the money, the second son will die too. And the, the blood right. of Jesus, shout the blood of Jesus three times. Two, son de Jesus. Three, son de Jesus. Any wrong place you have entered haunting you, may that wrong place expire today. Shout amen again. Shut him now, right now, let that occultic man be located. Let the death that the other one is supposed to die, let it replace him. Now, replace him there. You are going. Fire! Nothing can happen to me. It is an agreement you I had with this him. This is a man now. Here the words have changed. I have the agreement with him. Nothing Many can happen pastors to you. have tried. Huh? But nothing. Unless if he can give me my money, he take the son. But if he cannot, 12 midnight, innocent will die. And nothing. And nothing. Uh, now. You will know whether if I am many men of God or not. If I be a man of God. Paralyze. Leave him. Leave him. Paralyze. 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 Begin to walk cripple. Walk cripple to me now. You are dying. Die. I pierce you on your heart. And you queen of the ghosts, all of you. We know you. Huh? We know you. What do you call oh, me? Prince, we know you. How did you know we me? We know you. I know you. Because uh, since he started suffering the death, he entered 100 days dry fasting and prayer. On 92 days, we killed one of the son. On 92 days, we did that for him to stop the prayer. And uh, only for him to moon for the son, he now decided to take the journey because the second son is about to die. You say you know me. Yes. Okay. You. Know me for what? He has been seeing you in Revelation. He has been calling your name anytime he's praying. What is my name doing to you? Your name. Your name. Your name. You are the second TB Joshua on earth we know. Break the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Now freedom has come to that son. You are a potted man. In the name of Jesus, I pierce you. Give me the sword. I take the sword. Huh? He can't find it. We lock. We lock the ministry. About 500 to 800 members has been coming before, but we we scatter them all. By now, they are not up to 18. They are not even up to 12. He has been eating. By begging, nothing to show. Now, Marcus. in the name of Jesus, you are finished. You covenant. We want to release him. Huh? We want to release him. Okay. We want to release him. Oh, yeah, release but, his son also before but, you go. But before we release him, he must say to us. He must say to us. You see, have a man to be talking. He must I say am to us. I'm cutting you now. In the name of Jesus Christ, will you release him now? Huh? Will you release him now? 
Yes. Hein? Yes. Will you release the song now? I will release it. Hein? The song. The song. I will release the song. Will you release this man, Destiny, you queen of the coast? But he must. He must give us. Speak. Speak. He must give us our money. He will. Will you release the song now? In the name of Jesus. I will release the song. You that is dying. But are you talking about money? The mother. The mother is not with him again. Will you release it now? The mother has gone to the Speak and answer me in the name of Jesus Christ. Will you release it now? I will release him. I will release. I will release. You queen of the court, will you release him now? Yes. Huh? Yes. Okay. Yes. Your time yes. has expired. Yes. Go! Yes. And be buried by fire. In Jesus' mighty name, you are Release everything. Now release everything. You want to release. Shadrach, take your destiny. Take your destiny. Take back your destiny. Take back your destiny. Take your glory. Take your glory. Take your glory. Take your money. Take your money. Even though you are not, you are not, you are nowhere to be sleeping. Because nothing to show. Thank you. For but that. take everything. Thank you, Jesus. Take everything. Be take free. everything. Be free. Be free. In Jesus, lay your back on the floor. Jesus, you are worthy. Savior. Now art worthy. Everybody lift up your hand. Now Lord has Lift up those hands, lift up those hands, lift up those hands. On the YouTube, on the YouTube, on the YouTube, on the YouTube, on the Facebook. Yes, lift up your hands. On the Synagogue TV. On the It depends, depends on, on you. you. Lift up your hand. But Jesus, Jesus depends, depends on nothing. No. Hey! You are God all by, by yourself. You are God, God all by yourself. By yourself. Sweet, Sweet Jesus. Jesus. You don't need me to be a God. Oh. Hey. Everything it depends, depends on you. you. Lift up your hand. But Jesus depends on you. You are God of by yourself. You are God of by yourself. Sweet Jesus, you don't need the man to be. Thank you, Jesus. Everybody, stretch your hand to this place. If I be a man of God. People of God, you are going to do what the Lord have asked me to tell you to do. Listen, when you follow what I am telling you, this will not be hard. Everything depends on Jesus. But Jesus depends on nothing. Whatever we have, Jesus don't need it, but we need it. Because is God is richer than all. Everything depends on you. But Jesus depends on that. You see it. You are God all by yourself. You are God all by yourself. Sweet Jesus, you don't need me to be a God. Oh. Everything depends so on you. you. But Jesus, Jesus depends on nothing. You are God of 
understand in the realm of the spirit something has just happened amen. that you cannot buy with money can I hear that amen, amen. can I hear it again very strong amen. young man you came here with a charm yes, you came sir. here with a bottle yes sir you are a pastor yes sir go and bring it camera follow Everybody stand up, stand up, stand up. Lift up your hand. Lift up your hand. Lift up your hand. Everybody have his own 
I have his own trouble. You are here to be liberated. Say amen again. Amen. A very strong one. Amen. Now, come on with the charm. Okay. Who gave you this charm? As a wine. As a wine. Yes. From which kingdom? From Enuguske. From Enuguske. Say, which daughter? Yes, yes, sir. To be using it for what? Uh, my business was uh, shaking before I started. The key this. one of your son. Yes. The key one of your son. You did not know the person you gave money to is an occultic person. Yes, sir. All right. Let it just stay. Let it go and sit down there. Or over there. He will, he will confess everything. Let it wait throughout this week. I want to see. Put your hands together for Jesus. Now, everybody, wave your hand, wave your hand, wave your hand. There is something we are going to do. Tell everybody, there is something we are going to do. Sacrifice. Again. You have prayed. The next one is what? Sacrifice. Wherever you are, I have a lead in my spirit that we should give. For the project that is going on. We are almost rounding up inside painting. And we want to start outside the church painting. And we also need bags of cement. For continual work that we are doing. You can give a sacrifice. Of one million and above. Five hundred thousand. 200,000, 100,000 or 100 bag of cement or 50 bag of cement or 20 bag of cement. Right now, you can give $500, $1,000 or $5,000 or 100 dollar or 100 euro. Wherever you are, write it on the paper. We want to give a sacrifice. It's a leading by the Spirit of God. And those of you that is here, that can do the same. Come out. I want to pray for you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Write it. It's a sacrifice time. Noah offer a sacrifice. You see, this young man, they killed the son. Why did they kill the son? Because there are things he did not know. Who is your spiritual father? Remember what will be happening this week. What will be happening this week is not a child play. You can give $500, $100, $200, $300, £200, £300, pounds. wherever you are, you can also call. Call the WhatsApp number. Put the number there. You can call right now. I will pick your call here. It's a sacrifice time. Have you said it's a sacrifice time? Are you here? Listen. You here? Whether you don't have, you must offer a sacrifice. You can give two bag of cement, three bag of cement. Stand up. One bag of cement. Stand up. You will bring it here tomorrow morning. Stand up. Yeah. This is not a child play. Come here. You come this way. Let them come this way. Just stand there. Everybody must receive this blessing. On the Zoom, get ready. You can give one million, five hundred thousand, two hundred thousand, three hundred thousand. I want to pray for you. I want to pray for you personally. I want to pray for you. Everybody came from a family. Everybody came from where? Eh? Came from where? A family. If you have evil or tie your family, it is time to deal with it. Submit their name throughout this week because we are in a battlefield throughout this week. We have tomorrow, next tomorrow, <laughs> tomorrow, 
Monday to Saturday. Partners meeting. This week is partners meeting. People of God, this week is partner meeting. Join me this coming Saturday. We are starting the program tomorrow. My family must be free. What did I say? My family must be free. Seize this program. From a Monday to Saturday, my family must be free. What stop your father can't stop you. What stop your mother can't stop you. You are breaking out. I can hear a voice of congratulation. Join me. All time will be exchanging arrows. And the blood of Jesus will conquer the evil altar in your father's house. Join me. Don't miss it. And this blessing that is coming is very big. And it shall be permanent in your life. My family must be free. You can see the manifestation of that young man just now. Join me. God bless you. Right now, write it on paper. I'll begin to call you out one after the other. I want everybody to partake of this. Don't run away from it for your own good. Partake from it. Evil also raise altar for your children. Raise altar for your children. Raise altar for your own building in your village. Raise altar for your own building in the village. Don't say I give last time. No! We are children of sacrifice. Did we not eat last time? We eat every day to remain alive sacrifice is part of our worship to God you now can give back us a minute you are still there, you are sitting down don't just sit down, come out one bag of cement is not bigger than you you are bigger than one bag of cement but God will use it to deliver you amen. can I hear your amen? amen I will be here tomorrow by myself, you will bring it bring it once you bring it. Hello. Huh? Call, I am here. I am here. Hello. Okay. Yes. Have you get it? Huh? Yes, I will give 100 euro. Okay, where are you calling from? I'm calling from Germany, Anna Ige. God bless you. It shall be well with you in Jesus' name. Jump your hands together for Jesus. Now, tomorrow you will bring it. What did I say? What did I say? You have a problem to deal with. You don't know. Every day when we are raising money here, you sit down. It's not well. You know until you not day well. You want to remain in one place. Those who go to testify, go to testify. You go day there. Go to sit down. Apostle, girl, who they give them. No. Also strong, go yourself out of it. Don't just sit down there. Come out. One bag is not bigger than you. Even though I have bag, carry and come. Yes. You know, be gathered. Yeah, they go use and take cast. Yes. Not be so. Yes. Go where they say, say, make the measure and come. Carry and come. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, waste. Say, measure and have bag. Then you pray, you break up. Can I hear your amen? amen. Open your two hands. You cannot begin to struggle with this thing in your father's house. Pray! Pick out. What is killing people in your family cannot kill you. The mercy of Jesus Christ. This thing that want to destroy you can't destroy you. Break, break, break. Once I touch you, eh? You will know. Say, now AJ use that bag of cement. Say, are you go here? Huh? Go here. Huh? You cannot just sit down there and I go here. Huh? Break, break. In the name of Jesus. You cannot remain poor forever. Build a house. Can't you also build? Break. Between that and next Sunday, we shall be working on your life. Break, 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 break. 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 We shall be working on your Hello? life. Begin to call. Begin to call. I am here. Begin to call. Begin to call. Those of you on the Zoom, everybody write his own. 
I will tell you what. Don't escape this thing. Don't escape what I'm talking about. Go on. Go on. I can hear you. Where are you calling from? Okay. Yeah, I'm calling from Jeremy. Jeremy. Okay, go on. Yeah, I'm to hero. Okay, you gave 100 years. Hero. It's 100 hero, but it's not God bless you in the name of Jesus. May the evil altar in your father's house cast fire. Will you not be happy when you came here <laughs> between out in Movember? Everywhere here is paint, and everywhere look beautiful. And we now remove this old structure, then we now pack it to the new church. I did not show you what is happening in the new church. I decided not to show you, but you go shock when you enter. I said when you enter, you go shock. You go what? Shock. Now people of God they do one, and as they do one, I so God they bless them. You that is also partaker of it, God will bless you. Break, 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 break. Even every department of this church, you must go and also join hand together. You know, one bag of cement, go break and come. Am I might tell somebody here? This thing not be ordinary. What I'm telling you now, freedom is coming this week. Break, 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 break. Young man, come out of poverty. Come out. What are you doing there? Break, break, come out. Break, break, young lady. Free, freedom. Freedom come to your life. Freedom come to your life. Freedom come to your life. Freedom come to you, to your children. Anything that looks difficult in your life. Break. Let that thing come out. Let it come out with the roots. Come out. Come out. Break. Break. If I touch you, you cannot go and enjoy your life. You will see what this week will bring for you. You can't understand. When you go out, when you come in, something will follow you. You don't understand. There is something that follow me. I will no longer suffer again. Yeah. Because why? God has lifted me up. Yeah. You want the same thing to follow you and your children. Yeah. Raise an altar. One bag of cement not big pass you. Go get and carry and come. You, you will carry and come. You go land and for this altar. Boom. You say, oh God, if I, he will want arena, settle my case. You will need that here. You will pray. They will tell you where to put it. You go home throughout this week. Eh? He said that something happened to you, you happened to something. Amen. It's a prophecy. I don't do this one all the time because sometimes I don't want to trouble you people. But this one is an altar. It's a revenge battle. Your father raised an altar, revenge. Your mother raised an altar, revenge. It's a revenge word. Battle. I cannot continue like this. Why is it that people don't rise in my family? I must rise. Say it, me. I must rise. Break in the name of Jesus Christ. Break. Break in the name of Jesus Christ. Break in the name of Jesus Christ. I see me looking here. Break. 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 The name of Jesus. Break. 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 The name of Jesus Christ. Break. 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 I even do more than three. You can do more than four. Do it. God knows you. Break. Yes. Break. 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 Father, they are bringing it here tomorrow morning. You will accept their sacrifice. Send angel to stay inside the church and wait for them. As they come, give them their blessing. Give them their promotion. Liberate their children. Set them free. Those who cannot sleep well at night. Let them begin to sleep away. In the name of Jesus. Break, 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 break. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Victory belongs to Jesus. Whoever fighting you, they will lose. I'm not hearing that amen. They will lose. They will lose the battle. They will lose the battle. In the name of Jesus, I say your enemy will lose a battle. Break, 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 break. Put your hand together for Jesus.
Okay. This one is another set. What do you want? bless you. Your battle is over. Shall fire at every time. Fire! 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 Hey! Jesus. Now, listen, everybody. Those, those of you who are giving bars of cement you on the Zoom, you can send your brother to bring it. Those of you who are giving it cash, raise it up, raise it up, raise it up. Raise it up. If you fold your hand, I cannot place you in the realm of the spirit. Obey, you shall prosper. Hundred dollar, one thousand dollar, five thousand US dollar, pounds. Oh yeah. Let me begin to see it raining. Then those of you calling on YouTube, on Zoom, on the YouTube, Facebook, continue calling. I stretch my hand. I stretch my hand. On the YouTube page, I stretch my hand on the Facebook page, I stretch my hand on Synagogue TV in the name of Jesus. Hello. Where are you calling from? I'm calling from USA. From USA, okay. What do you want to do? I want to contribute two hundred dollars. Two hundred dollar. Yes. Okay. Now. Let me just show you something. This is what we are almost through with outside. We want to enter. We are almost through with inside. We want to enter outside. Just catch on that place. May they just see small, small. May we just, we'll just give the small expo. Catch on that place. You see that place? Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Remove her, remove her, remove her. May they not see her. Remove her. Remove her, remove her. Yes, yes, yes. Synagogue is, is getting ready. You are not, you are not hearing me. Put them again, made a just see small. Put them again, made a see small, small. Just put them, just blink them again. We don't want to show you inside the gate because, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Remove her, remove her, remove her, remove her. Remove her. We don't the entire side now. Now, I need people that will hold my hand to paint the house of God. We are painting, it's an altar you are raising. Your father raised ugly altar, you raise a beautiful one. So that story will change. Jam your hands together for Jesus. Call wherever you are. I am here. Call. That one is giving 10,000 rands. Is it from South Africa? 10,000 rands. Yes. Everybody, yes. Everybody must be part of this. Everybody must be part of it. Strong go is not your portion. I say strong go is not your portion. That my son. Just come and read them out. Come and read them out. You can you have somebody there? Come, 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 come. Let two people just come there. Come, come, come. You just make sure they are there and read them out. Read them out. The one who can read out. Then I will start praying for everybody. I can't see their name. I want to see their name. To see their name. Blessing is giving hundred euro. Yes, where is evangelist? Follow evangelist. Fifty euro. God bless you. I call all. Yes. Speak now. You just did that. I'll be the eyeglass on the same way. Last seat. Karina, God bless you, Headley. 
God bless you, Karina. God bless you. God bless you. Yes, God bless you. God bless you. Dating, God bless you. God bless you. As you sow in this house, God will sow into your life. God will bring men to you. You will not struggle. Prince Richard. Prince Richard Jabon, God bless you. 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 Everybody must be part of this. This week. This week. Sirika. Who the name there? Sirika. Okay. Mrs. Blessing or Sobase. God bless you. Mrs. Blessing or Sobase. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. We are sowing. Esther. Esther Casalira. God bless you. How are you? <laughs> Emmanuel. God bless you. Esther. Emmanuel. Victoria. God bless you. Victoria. Noah. God bless you. Apuri. Brother Francis. God bless you. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we thank you. Angela. Blessing. God bless you. God bless you and your family. Father, comfort. God bless you. Comfort. God bless you. God bless you. Rafa. God bless you. God bless you. Rafa. God bless you. You are blessed. Mercy. A king. God bless you. Now, there are there are 12 of you. 12 of you that the spirit of God is speaking to that you can give 1 million or 2 million 12 of you and there are 25 of you that can give half a million 500,000 call call right now I want to pray for you there are 12 of you that the Lord is speaking to that this altar in your father's house that your family can be liberated from it. That you can give 1 million, 12 of you. Why 25 of you? You can give half a million. Put a call across. Call. 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 It's an altar that we are raising in the house of God. It's an altar we are raising in the house of God. And all of you that is giving now, there is a special prayer we are going to be praying this week. You will see the infants. You will see the infants. Did you see the infant just now? The one you will see this week. Eh? You will know that Jesus is Lord. Put your hand together for Jesus. You will see the infant. Enough is enough. What nobody has ever done in your family will be the one that will do it. Listen. That person that can give one million. Do you know the evil altar of death in your family? You can silence it. You can silence it by that seed. The evil altar, you can silence it. That evil reoccurring situation happened in your family. Do you, know, you know you can silence it? I'm talking to you. Yes, you. Yes. God is talking to you. Yes, yes. You can do it now. You can silence it. Give that one million. You will see what will happen. Thank you, Jesus. Go on. Start calling them out. Bring them out. Oh, see, Bobo. God bless you. You are blessed. 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 Call the Augustine. Lelet. God bless you. You are blessed. Love always. God bless you. Always love. God bless you. God bless you. Is it Nigeria money? Sakala. Is it 500k? A dollar? You say a dollar? Zambia currency. 500k. Is it Zambia currency? Okay. Okay, God bless you. God bless you. You are blessed. Call them out. Call them out. Come down. Jesus. 
more you work, God bless you. God bless you. And your baby, God bless you. Thank you, Jesus. Mercy. Altar is catchy fire. Demons, they are angry now that you are giving. They won't survive this week. You will hear a story in your family that the strong man sleep, he did not wake up again. You can't understand. If you understand what we are talking about now, eh, you will say amen very loud. Amen. Go on. Go on. You can keep on calling. You can keep on calling. Alex. Alex. God bless you. God bless you. Oh, where? God bless you. Oh, where? God bless you. There are people that will be receiving documents this week. Nothing can stop it. Documents. Oh, Esther. JK, God bless you. Esther, God bless you. God bless you. Pauline, God bless you. God bless you, Pauline. Pauline, God bless you. Read them out. God bless you. Rita, God bless you. God bless you. The yoke is broken. I said the yoke is broken. The yoke is broken. Yes, Dwelling, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you and your family. God bless you. Dorothy, God bless you. 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 Andred, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. You got that? God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. A dog below Sarah. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Patience. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you, precious. God bless you. God bless you. Something is happening. Jacqueline. God bless you. Jacqueline. God bless you. You are blessed. Raise altar. And see the altar speaking for you, it's okay. God bless you. God bless you. See the altar speaking for you. See the altar speaking for you. Is it bass or cement you want to buy? Can you even give us a trailer of cement or a full granite or stone? Give it. You will see. You can give us a full granite or stone or a, a trailer load of cement. Eh? You will see. You will see altar fighting your battle. Caroline, God bless you. Rosemary, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. All for Ray Daniel, God bless you. God bless you. Gabriel, God bless you. Rose Daniel, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Gabriel, God bless you. Success. God bless you. Doris. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Clement. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Have you put the number there? Put the phone number there. Let the phone number remain there. You are connected within Nigeria here. I want to do something. You want to do something you want to do something nobody have ever done in your family go ahead mary god bless you frank god bless you god bless you nene ebe god bless you okay son god bless you domingo how are you God bless you. God bless. You are blessed. Sonny Oyeka. Your document. No red mark again. The document. Something good will happen to you. In the name of Jesus. God bless you. That red mark. I turn it to good news. This is the time to move the hand of God. Everybody jam your hands together. I say this is the time to move the hand of God. You don't understand? This is the time. Go on, go on, go on. 
God win jewelets. God win jewelets. God bless you. Keep on flipping. Keep on flipping. No time. Vitalis. God bless you. One day, God bless you. You are blessed. You are blessed. I don't want you beauty. God bless you. Who is your spiritual father? <laughs> Who is your spiritual father? Lord and good news. God bless you. You need a spiritual father. A man with chin they do. God bless you. God bless you. Friday, God bless you. God bless you. 